From the remnants of Janna City comes a broadcast that will shake the Empire to its core. Rogue One Radio will discuss all things Star Wars and all things in the nerd culture in and out of the galaxy far, far away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Rogue One Radio. And if the title didn't give you the clue, you are watching number 100. That's right, 100 episodes. And Nicole should be coming along in a bit here. And we've got uh, a lot of other guests coming by in a little bit. Um but before we jump into all of that, we're going to go ahead and hit up our first music break. We're going to start off with a band from Sacramento, California called La Manta. And they just released a single on August 12th. It is called Braces. And here it is. All right, that was Braces by La Manta. Um, so Nicole's not with us yet, so why don't we jump over and see who is in the chat room. Megan is with us, and Scott of Used and Abused. Hey, Scott. And Dragon Buddy is with us, and Kim, also of Used and Abused. And who else we got in here? Kelly is in here. Hector's in there. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. There's Nicholas from Backyard Tardis. Charles is with us. Thank you very much. And who else we got? Uh, that's it for now. I'm sure we'll have more coming along. We've got um, quite a few surprises coming for you later on in the show. Um I really figured Nicole would be here by now. Uh, and there's Spencer. He just popped in. Hey, Spencer, thanks for coming by. And uh, let's see. Well, uh, I guess we can jump in to our house cleaning stuff. Uh, we are part of the Red 5 network right down there. If you see the scrolling link, that is where you can find the... Oh, there she is. That it's is where been you crazy can find... easy. What can I say? We're yeah. lucky we're here today, people. <laughs> so there's where you can find the link to all the awesome Red 5 podcasts. There's like 30, almost 40 of them. 
somewhere in that vicinity. And this is where you can find all of them. And oh, well, oh, there's our uh, there's a surprise guest host for the evening. Would have been nice if hey, I would have one. Hey, Megan, how are you doing? Good. Um, but we've got, uh, like I said, we've got a lot of more surprises coming by later tonight. Um, where was I? Um, oh, uh, okay. So if you are watching us for the first time on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, all that good stuff, and make sure you never miss an episode. And, uh, we love to hear from you, so mm -hmm. give us comments. And you can find us on social media, but where? <gasps> Nicole? Oh, where? Oh, well, let me tell you, Steve. We, you can find us, Rogue One Radio, on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. As well, we have Patreon. But before we go into Patreon, let me real quick also remind you that we are part of the Red 5 Network, and you can also find them on Twitter as well as Instagram. And if you go onto their Twitter page, just hit on the bio link. You can find us there, Rogue One Radio. Again, Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. And Steve, can you tell us more about our Patreon page? I can. So we do have a Patreon page if you would like to contribute to the cause and help us keep the ship running. And uh, wait, what did what what were you showing off there? Oh, we'll get to that. Oh. Our teacher, my, our, my teacher, Rogue One Radio, we twinsies. <laughs> Where's yours, Megan? Uh, I didn't realize I was going to be on tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so patrons, yes. Uh, so we do have a great list of patrons, and we like to give them little shout outs on the show here. So we would like to thank all our patrons, Dave Brown, Kelly and Chris, Don, Nicholas, Scott and Kim, and our newest patron, Amanda. So thank you for all your support. And if you'd like to talk to us any other way other than social media, you can leave us a, why is that scrolling? That's not supposed to be scrolling. Let's try that again. You can leave us a message right there, 405-595-0108. Leave us a voicemail, and uh, we will play it on the air. We have done so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if we've got any newcomers since we last did our shout-outs here. Um, Andrew from Science Fictionary is in here with us. And Brandon... So well, thanks everybody for coming by for our hundredth episode. 100th episode celebration. I feel so like how I did we get here? How are we already at one hundred? That's a very good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Andrew. <laughs> so just hand out your cell phone number. I'm sure it would be fine. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It seems like shenanigans on that number. It's, it seems like it's been longer than it should have to get to 100 uh, because of all the... Uh, ooh, somebody just popped in. Cool. <sighs> uh -oh. It's DJ. Ah! <laughs> you made it. So, so DJ, we were... Everybody. Yeah, I thanks for coming in. We were DJ just talking... It's not a party without like our co-host. It's just yeah. not. It just doesn't I mean, feel, feel the like same without you. Yeah, and I mean, you can't have a party without an extra special guest. The usual co-host, extra special yeah, guest. It, it definitely just doesn't feel the same without without the whole crew here. Um, That's true. So, DJ, we were just talking about how uh, how did we get here? Like 100 episodes. How, how it feels like. <laughs> it seems like it took so long to get here. Because all the hiatuses and thing, I, I, like a couple of times the show basically just stopped. Um, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Life. Uh, it, yeah. Very simple life. Exactly. <laughs> so Megan here, she first appeared on the show on episode number 10. 
way back wow. in May 2020. As I told Steve before we hopped on, you mean the year that never happened? <laughs> basically, basically, yeah. So, um, DJ, you started with us in November of 2020, and now I don't remember what episode that was. So, let me, uh, uh, yeah, just talk amongst yourselves while I figure out. I don't. Well, I know I'm coming up on my one year anniversary. Technical, technical, technical one year anniversary. Yes. Technical. Because yes. so technically it was July of July, 20, July. 2021 and so technically we waited we waited a little bit yeah yeah we did i man i remember that and then i had even even as a guest i remember having to be like i'm gonna have to take a hiatus because so much was going on in my life at this point last yeah. year that i would be in and out in and out and i was like okay i can't guest tonight wink wink nod nod and <laughs> lo and behold we all know so DJ, you were your first was episode number twenty three. So that would be seventy seven episodes. Yeah, or thereabouts. Yeah, and I started guesting shortly afterwards, somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm trying to find yours. Um, Man and Lois, or maybe we were talking about DC. Weren't we talking about DC? I think I think so. Man I think it was Lois. it was past the time. I don't think we were talking about the Mandalorian season. No, two. I think we were talking about. I'm pretty sure we were talking about either Superman and Lois, or we were talking about DC. Because I remember I did all the like these capes behind me, and then one fell down and hit me, and I'm like, "Oh, great! They're never going to invite me back again." <laughs> uh, I actually I found it. No, it was episode number 34 in January of 2020, 2021. What was the title? It was our Attack of the Clones retrospective. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, well, I remember thinking to myself when we hit the DC one and I had something fall behind me and it hit me. I'm like, yeah, they're never going to invite me back again. Oh, wait a minute. That's I do remember it. that one. Yes, I remember that one because it was the name of that episode was Superman and Lois and Utter Chaos. Yes, and it was total chaos. I remember it was crazy. I remember thinking, oh man, they're not going to invite me back again there's no way because there were so many technical issues that night technical it, issues things falling it, it was nuts. chaos it's nuts. <laughs> so yeah. uh so dj what what have you been doing this week work you've been you've been working yeah work um lots of work uh i'm actually home for a few days right now uh, tomorrow I have to go have uh, emergency dental stuff oh, done. No, no. Uh, I have a couple of chipped teeth. Um, so uh, I'll be home probably the rest of this week. And then next week I'll be gone. Then I'll be home the weekend. And then I'll be gone again. And then I'll be home the weekend. I think I'm gone again. So, Yeah. Fun stuff. Just week, don't yeah. get burnt out traveling, DJ. That's all I ask. I, so, well, it's work. I don't have a choice. <laughs> so any uh, any show, book, or movie recommendations for this week? Oh, man. Um, have you had time to read anything? Or? <laughs> um, no. I'm, in fact, I just started book six of Harry Potter reread. Um, mm. uh, what else have I, I been um, watching? Um, I started a rewatch on the, uh, I watched the Lord of the Rings and now I'm back on the Hobbit. So I'm on, uh, Desolation of Smog. Uh, and then once I finish, uh, Battle of the Five Armies, then I'm going to start with, uh, Ring of Power since I like to binge. So okay. that way several episodes will be out and I could watch it and, yeah. So you want to recommend Rings of Power? Uh, from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. Now, I've, uh, I've only okay. caught uh, a few things here and there. Uh, but uh, if you uh, like uh, good adventure movies um, and you have not seen uh, The Hobbit uh, pre-trilogy, uh, go check that out. Very cool. Very cool. 
All right. Um, so um, I went to a music festival this you weekend. You did. With, um, I've, I got some show and tell stuff. Um, I know. And it's yeah. sad because I wasn't, I, we didn't get to meet up because. Yeah, I know. We tried. Because somebody like DJ was work, work, work. Oh, did I mention work? Like I, yeah, I'm on this yuck. long string of work, and it's just like <laughs> I'm like DJ. I think by the time like I'm gonna get my by the time Friday night rolls around, I'll be manic laughing. I think, but <laughs> it'll be fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went with uh, Jay, my offspring, and we all we both had an amazing uh, fun time. It was great. Uh, we went for Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. um, and then left around noon on Sunday, but mm -hmm. not after we, uh, we, we did hit a, uh, a little bar and grill uh, called, what was it called? Don's Grill, I think was the name of it. Really good. Um, and then stopped by the United Center, uh, just check it out because I like the hockey. Um, so let's do some show and tell. So while I was there, I went through their little fair area and I got this shirt here. Oh, and it's relish. It's relish. That's it relish. Is. It That's is. Relish. It is. Oh my gosh. So That's this, this, okay. This is put out by a company called relish brand based out of Chicago. And, okay. Uh, Can I speak? Can I speak? Hell. No. <laughs> no, I'm dying. I'm dying. no Megan says no. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Y'all who, okay. Brandon knows. Brandon's met this person. Okay. So, my friend Derek Baker is the, um, is the designer of Relish. And I love, love, love Relish. It's all things Chicago, except he has done, I think, something for Milwaukee Bucks and I, or something in Milwaukee. Maybe it was the Bucks or I can't remember. And something also in Vegas, but Relish is, I love Relish. So yeah. huge. And I remember sending you the stuff like, you need to go see yep. Relish. You need to go see night. it. I own a lot of Relish. Now you're making me want to go change. Like yeah, out of see, my Rogue I, One uh, to my Relish. No, no, you can't change out of your Rogue One. Well, I mean, we have more music breaks coming up. So nothing says you can't disappear during those. That's true. Um, <laughs> Well, so yeah, but, yeah, I had a hard time figuring out which one I wanted. Actually, I know, I um, I know, I got like hoodies and t-shirts and uh uh. Actually, the first night that you and I met at the thing, I was wearing my relish hoodie. It was a white uh, one with yeah. a pizza, and uh, that was also designed by Relish. And yes, I absolutely love 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 Relish. They're great. Uh, yes, and um, uh, I. Asked Steve the link several times before he went to Riot Fest because I wanted to make sure he went and saw it. <laughs> yeah, and so um, yeah, I'll have a I'll have a link to their website uh, in the show notes. Um, I love I love to support my one. I am supporting yeah. one of my own friends too. Uh, you know, supporting local businesses because he is he is local. He is local. Uh, well, in Illinois, he's now. Well, for me at the time, it was very local. Uh, and he's now in Gray's Lake. So, and he's got his finally his own front storefront, but he's been mostly online up until this past year. And I'm just so, so proud of, um, yeah. of Derek. Really, really cool. He's awesome. Story. Yeah. He's got, a designer. Sorry. I'll let you talk. A, I'm so good. excited. I also got a couple of books from another vendor called, uh, oh man, now I can't remember the name of the I got so excited. Publisher. He forgot. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the publisher. Um, it's PM Press, but I can't remember what PM stands for. Um, but I will have a link to them, um, and I'll check it out here in a few minutes, what it actually stands for. But this is the first book I got. It's called Going Underground, American Punk, 1979 to 1989. Cool. Nice. So cool stuff. And then this other one is called... Uh, Left of the Dial, gosh dang it, I can never get this right. Left of the Dial, Conversations with Punk Icons. So, really good. Like, Ooh. that that little store was was crazy. Um, uh, the, the, the little bookstore, it was, uh, you could have spent all day there. I, 
I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to ask you this. He may or may not. I didn't get a chance. I'm telling you, I was busy. I was working, working my booty off this weekend. Did he have bottles of Malort out, and did you have a shot? Um, it was offered. <laughs> uh, did you do it, dude? Did, did you do it? Did you it do was, it? I did not because ah. I don't drink. Oh, okay. Now that's okay. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I because I know I, I know that's something that um that he does, and I'm like, hey, did you have your Malort? <laughs> Yeah, so they they did offer it, and I I basically just told them to uh, to give it to the person that was behind me. Yeah, how did that go? Oh, it was it was yeah, it was great. They I mean they, they got they got it's two funny shots. To see people's expressions of with them, my lord. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I I can't find out what the what the PM stands for. I went to pmpress.org and I have Prime no idea. Meridian. Uh, is that what it stands for? I don't know. Sure, we'll go with that. Whatever. Prime it's Minister. a non, it, it's a nonprofit organization that publishes books, and they're awesome. They've got lots of. It's not just music books. They've got uh, a lot of uh, really cool stuff about uh, alternative lifestyles and that sort of thing. Um, oh, and wait, can I can say one thing real quick. Speaking of alternative lifestyles and crazy stuff. Stay away from the chat. We have both Chanti and Josh in there tonight. So unless you want to be broken, uh, yeah, you know, stay away from chat. I'm, I <laughs> we can't be more broken than we already are. <laughs> yeah, we'll be okay. I mean, I've yeah. already I've already gone down a rabbit trail. All he had to do was pull up a shirt and me go, ah. Yeah, see, it's it's just uh see what I gotta deal with on a weekly basis. Okay, if you want to keep breathing then, so you're not laughing so hard you can't breathe. Wait, are we going to have... Yes, they're both here. I wonder so if yes. we're going to have a particular twosome. No, no brokenness tonight. No brokenness. So things are going to get broken. There's there's no... <laughs> we're, we're like stained glass. We're better when we're broken. It's beautiful and mosaic. It's, yeah, it's going to get it's going to get crazy in here tonight. Um... I, I mean, it's a hundredth episode. So, what else can you do? Yeah, yeah. I, it's it's supposed to be crazy because it's <laughs> it's a celebration. Um, so, yeah, so Nicole, you, you had said, "Oh, wait, wait." Recommendation. Um, crap. Yeah. So, what's your recommendation? <laughs> I can't recommend either any, either of these books because I haven't read any of them yet. Uh, but I did start watching. Um, I did start watching Umbrella Academy. I, I'm about two or three episodes in. Okay. So if you haven't checked that out, that's probably worth checking out. It looks pretty interesting so far. Um, and there's the it's based off of a a graphic novel, of course. Um, and I actually started reading the uh, first trade. That's um, in there. And, uh, yeah, so so read 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 the book or watch the show. Either way, um, so far I, I've been able to tell that uh, the book is quite different from the story or from the show. So um, still pretty cool. I read uh, the chat. Enough said, Josh. You read, you read the what? The chat. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> We love our chat. We love our we love our friends and you know our family and what can I say? You know, do. We're to... I don't think there is anything to say about the chat. There's no describing them. Oh, well, there's always <laughs> something to say about them, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can say on camera without getting yanked off YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I said I love our 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 fans, our friends, our Red Five family that comes and hangs out. So Nicole. Tina, uh, Tina is in there with us. And I saw Kat was in there. Yeah. And also, Nicole, uh, Shanti is wondering if you really do love us. If you really do love the chat. I, because really, it's I really do. I, I love. No, I she love was all. joking. She was joking because oh. she was saying it's bonkers. Oh, we are bonkers. But who are we? Who are we kidding? Uh, Shanti knows right. that. I mean, we were, <laughs> we were, we were that gone. way before the chat showed up. So, you know. <laughs> Um, 
Okay, so Tina's in there with us, and of course, uh, obviously, you already know that uh, General Shinobi is with us, along with um, Josh, and who else is in that wasn't in before? Well, Hector was here. Um, I think we're all caught up with that. Uh, Nicole, you said you had been working all weekend. Did you do anything else this weekend? Um, no, that's pretty much it. Working, working, working. Hopefully we'll be doing some Red 5 gaming tomorrow night. Speaking of Red 5 Tavern Returns, I do believe it's Saturday, though, this week. So special times. Um, but then we get back next Friday. I will, uh, Kira will return to the Red 5 Tavern one week from this upcoming Friday. Um, I'm looking forward to that. So there's a little Red 5 update on my, my end that I know of. I did recently, so I'm getting excited. One, I did begin Rebel Rising, which is good, but I haven't, again, I've been so busy. I just haven't had yeah. time to really sit and enjoy. Um, but I'm getting ready for my October reads because I, one, I read, go back and read, reread some of my classics that your guys are going to be seeing in the coming weeks. Um, but this, I found a few new things while I was thrifting the other day, and they're not Star Wars, but I'm excited mm -hmm. because. I'm getting excited for October. I'm excited for all this, all the costumes I'm going to be dressing up as. I'm excited for all the things we're going to be doing. Uh, but for reads, so far I just added in two new books I'll be reading at least in October. One is Shadow Queen, and I'll keep an update if I re recommend this or not. As well as Ash and Bramble, when the glass slipper, uh, when the glass slipper doesn't uh, fit. I'm excited because these are both definitely on the darker that it looks like the darker side of more like brothers grim which i love brothers grim i actually own uh brothers grim the original fairy tale so for those who don't know i'm gonna break your hearts right now and that is sorry but you know fairy tales were actually a whole lot darker and more like what you would read in the month of october than they are on disney um so again i'm excited to um to read these and i'll keep you guys posted um but yeah other than that that's what i've been doing up to it's just been a busy busy week it wasn't a fun update like it was last week, so so, so was, what is your recommendation i have no recommendation that, that, that's okay that, that's okay we don't have to have one every week um i do i did like i have begun rebel rising i am enjoying it i just haven't been able to really sit down and really dig in beyond like the first chapter or two so i'm and usually I can read a book in a day or two. So I'm, that tells you how, like, yeah, how go, 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 go. I've been in this past week. <laughs> dragon Buddy, that is very disturbing. Um, Dragon <laughs> Buddy, I am sure he's right. <laughs> oh, there will be none of that. <laughs> I just thought of something that could be more disturbing that I don't want to say. Let's not go there. Um, so, for Megan, real quick, what have you been up to this week? Working. I actually got a full day off uh, to relax on Sunday. And then Monday was, uh, not to bring it down, but watching the Queen's funeral, recovering from that, and then um, picking up everything else that had been building up. Yeah. I was watching the BBC, too. I, I, I watched it a little bit in the morning. I watched during my like lunch hour and my break. And then I watched again at um, in after after work, so I could finish watching it. So BBC did a good job, I thought. Yeah, I thought they did yeah. really good. So. Hard to believe that part. Mm. <laughs> no. Deep oh wow! Oh my gosh! I mean, I can't say I'm surprised with um, him. So, so do you have any show, movie, or TV recommendations? Mm, not really. Uh, the main thing I've been watching, yeah. um, just basically as I've been eating dinner and different meals and stuff, is um, what's it called again? Is um, theory channels, you know, like game theory, movie theory, food theory, things oh, like that. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, I, I have a question for Megan because I saw a post tonight, a tweet. Go so I, those, that's, are, those are that's, dangerous. I was thinking about asking silly questions tonight. This one's not really s silly as much as it now I'm curious. Um, I saw a particular food you don't like, which is fine. Oh, I won't oh, give you a hard time for that. Uh, However, I will ask you, 
what is your favorite like go to meal? Ooh. I think that's a good question. See, yeah. I'm not gonna give you a hard time currently. I'll just ask. Other than no, um, when that came up on Twitter, and then as I was rushing upstairs to get my area set up for this, that was going through the back of my mind was, oh no, what did I just volunteer for? I know, didn't <laughs> we ask about that? Not seriously, but playfully. So I was expecting that. But to answer your your question specifically, my favorite meal, ooh. It would probably be, I can't choose between boneless chicken wings, orange chicken pizza, and then. Did you say orange chicken pizza? No. Um, I said, like, I couldn't choose. That sounds pizza, disgusting. But... <laughs> I know. Like, did you just say, okay, so you did not, she did not say, for the record, orange chicken pizza. I think she meant orange chicken and oh, then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Orange oh chicken pizza. I just don't know. How to I know we're all like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I forget where I heard about. I only say I heard about it on Good Mythical Morning years ago, but <laughs> apparently in Orange Foot, you get um, the sandwich from Subway, and then you put Panda Express orange chicken in it, and then along along with anything else. <laughs> and DJ. <laughs> No, oh, that is guys, definitely. Why don't you come back on the camera and say that to our faces? That is not a rancor. That is, that is, that is actually an Andor. Um, <laughs> there you so, go. Oh, Megan, it's you were saying my, my so, face hurts, so I'm here. Uh, okay. So. But yeah, I'm so waiting. Meg, um, Megan, let me quickly remind you: he is Slytherin. He is for the Empire. He is very strong. <laughs> And apparently, I've just been sorted into Slytherin for not liking that one food, so. So, let me just let you know, the main topic of today was supposed to be who is Andor, because we were closing up our, our Andor, our journey to Andor. I don't think we're going to get to it, but just just so you know, uh, this was supposed to be our top. Oh, wrong one. Aww. There's the wrong one. Not that Andor. Not, not that Andor. No, the other Andor. The one. But to be fair, we are going to be discussing Andor for the next few weeks. So we, we, we will be continuing to learn about who Cassie and Andor is anyways throughout the upcoming. I mean, our series is continuing. It doesn't really end. Our journey is almost to the end, but we're taking a new path within it, really. So we'll be following following up with who is Cassie and Andor next to the cat, that is. <laughs> Back on the topic of food, though, uh, DJ, why do you think I'm broke? <laughs> what? Hmm. What? Did you just put in the chat? I lost. think Megan is broke. Uh, because oh, <gasps> she keep laughing. I have oh. a feeling DB might be sleeping Corn on the fried rice. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, I really think DB might be on the porch tonight, or on the I mean, on the porch, on the couch. <laughs> porch. I'm I'm on on food. I'm still thinking of the orange chicken pizza. I don't know. So, okay. So there's the big thing. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Now the new thing, oh, hashtag, hashtag orange chicken on pizza. Wait, hey, I would try it. Twitter, Twitter before the show started, that Cam is supposed to make a special appearance. I don't if know. He de we'll, if he's we'll able see. to, we have to ask him. We have to ask him about that. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, we do need to jump into our second music break, though, because we are, we actually have a schedule today. Eh, somewhat. Okay. Um, I make the schedule. We kind of keep on topic. Just yeah, we try. Well, okay. So, so I made the schedule of, of our, uh, of our guests, of our guests tonight. And I, I'm going to try to keep as close to it as possible, but if you've seen the show before, you know that's not going to happen. But, okay, so here's our second music break. This is a band out – oh, I really actually did not mean to do this. This band is also from Sacramento, California. Um, that's odd. Uh, but the band is called Lightweight, and they have an e – yeah, they have an EP that just came out on September 2nd called You Have to Promise – and this is the first single from that EP. It is called The Shore. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I have a feeling DB might be in the... Uh, I, I have... On the shore 
the shore by lightweight and as you can see we have uh a couple of newcomers in the room tonight all right let's see the hat nicole what what oh that's your okay okay it's one oh my gosh it's one of I, it was either that or change into who knows maybe i'll throw on a t-shirt next or a hoodie i've got so much i love relish i love my relish so i'm gonna wrap <laughs> Although I'm so excited for our guest, our current first two, well, our third technically surprise guest tonight. And I have a very important question for Lunar Girl right behind me once we get done with introductions. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, of course, we have Kelly, a.k.a. Lunar Girl with us, who is the brains behind the Red 5 social media. <laughs> Let's be honest, she's the God. brains behind most things. Well, that's true. I'm the brains that's behind true. you. Speaking of which. <laughs> no, I'm not. He's really smart. <laughs> He's throwing you a bone. You He's been trying for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Chris, aka Dragon Buddy, from the ATSW Escape Pod. Thanks, guys, for coming in and helping us celebrate 100 episodes. Anytime. Thanks for That's having awesome. us. 100 episodes. Great milestone. Yes. Congratulations. So. I'm dying. I'm dying. Kelly, Moonbeam, my boom, my Moonbeam. 
Yeah. Um, is DB sleeping on the couch or porch tonight because of his porg comment? <laughs> I was thinking the porch sounded quite good. Oh, no, no, we already covered this. You're sleeping in the Star Wars slash oldest daughter's room. And <laughs> I get a little bit. My tooth hurts. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, DJ. DJ. Is sharing your pain. He goes for his emergency dental visit on Thursday. Yeah. Aww. Uh, it's sympathy pains that uh, that uh, us cousins enjoy. I, I wish I could say that, but no, he broke his tooth. Yeah. Too. Too. Yeah. No. Last time this happened, uh, about four hours later, my face was like three times the size it should be, only on the one side. Yeah, and, and so your hoping eyes I make shut. it to Thursday, and that doesn't happen again because I was like mm -hmm. the elephant man there. It was great. <laughs> well, yeah. at least on, as long as he's not life threatening, on the plus side, at least you have a reason to just lay there and sleep. I, I wish, but I'm the boss. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well. my face hurts and I look like the elephant man. Nobody look at me and I'm leaving early. <laughs> and that's why I have a whiteboard. Right. Yeah, yeah, he could only talk out of one little corner of his mouth because the rest of it was like, <laughs> don't piss me off today, okay? It freaking hurts. <laughs> That's what he sounded like. <laughs> I guess you won't be able to eat any pork then. Like, uh, pork oh, no. I have the pork on the shelf. Pork. We'll have maybe like a, a pork pate. <laughs> right. oh, I'm not the pork pate. Pork yogurt. There you go. Mm. Can we throw like can we I want to throw them both some boxing gloves right now? I'm like, yeah, bring it on. Let's go. Stop They're making me smile. Right we saw <laughs> so sorry. Just keep this serious, okay? It's hundred episodes. DJ's got the mouth pain. Are you on the right show? Um <laughs> No, none of us are. <laughs> Wait, what's your show again? I thought we were talking about Star Trek. When we can? What? And she yells at me in the chat. <laughs> Get the wrench. Uh, oh, I, I oh, which one? Me or him? I don't know. Both of them. Well, uh, can we see each other wrench? He gets the whisk. <laughs> That's right. right. I forgot about so, that. Pork, pork, pork. <laughs> Looking back on the fact that it is a hundred episodes, do you have any um, favorite moments that you can recall? Oh man! Oh my gosh! A good memorable one was a couple weeks ago where the chat just that, went that insane. Was, and was that the one really we were talking? We everyone kept talking about cheesecake, or was it the following? Oh, we talk, the the topic changed about thirty billion times, and every <laughs> now and then you could tell when you'd look because you'd see somebody reading and go, "What the hell is going on down there?" Wait a minute! What the hell? Was talking about <laughs> that was funny that yeah that happens a lot where i just like <laughs> randomly like what, what was i talking about <laughs> i was just talking about something else yep um okay so maybe not favorite moments what about um what do you like best about the show oh <gasps> yeah <gasps> again probably yeah. the chat room and the <laughs> this is that's, hard that's um, um what i like best about the show like, well, I love the music. I have always been a fan of the music breaks. But what I like best is all of your dynamic together. You don't always agree. You don't always disagree. No, don't. <laughs> but you are, you just, you just fit together. And I, I'm, I love it. You know, it, it's something that I look forward to every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, mine has always been Tuesdays. See, I got told, don't even touch that stuff. It's <laughs> just that it aggravates the gums and will make them swell up. Yes, but it makes my face feel better. And right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's it started off with Rogue One was Tuesday nights are usually like my quiet nights it's usually a slower day at work <laughs> and i ha i'm home in time to catch scott and kim like because mm -hmm. i'm hardly ever home on time to do stuff sometimes it pushes even my pod where i'm like guys uh, the meeting might might not have me um mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's it happened on a great night and then the mix of the the punk music and with talking about all of, all of our nerdy geeky 
um, loves and um, mm -hmm. reviews uh, was a good mix. So it's like a perfect balance of having the time to actually sit and watch live podcasts. Mm -hmm. I only mm -hmm. get a few here and there a week. So um, your time slot worked out just to where I'm usually free and not sleeping. Cause it's Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, like time Friday, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> we got the front time. <laughs> got the front time. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kelly, I think it was you that said we were the first red five. Yes. Yeah. And I just wanted to talk about that. Um, we were what? You, we were first what? You were my first red five podcast. <gasps> Mine too, because she turned me on to you guys. Because I, I yeah. Yeah, you guys do. <laughs> we talk podcasts in the bedroom. It's a party. Wrong podcast. I think you're looking for after dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, wrong day. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you guys know how I started at Sidebar uh, during 2020. Um, because there was nothing to do during 2020. And through them, I found Used Fair and enough. Abused, and I found the Escape Pod, and I became friends with all of them. Well, Don and Brady, right around, I want to say, February of 2021, joined Rogue One, or not Rogue One, uh, Red Five Network. And I told them, I said, I would like to start listening to some of their pods you know i, I want to add to the three podcasts that i'm already listening to what do you recommend and don says you gotta listen to rogue one radio kelly you would love them it's right up your alley and i'm like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> and i started listening and yeah fell in love with it it was like the perfect nerdy geeky thing that i needed in my week so yeah you guys were my That's very awesome. first very cool. Yeah, and what's funny is, as Kelly was saying that, that jogged a memory in me. I'm not 100%, but I want to say Rogue One was the same for me because I knew Steve from Future of the Force, and he must have just oh, wow. shortly started um, the started this podcast uh, around that time. And so I heard he was doing that and ended That's up it. on his on the 10th episode, and now here we are. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. I was writing. I started writing for them. <laughs> And then uh, I started, I, it was right after I lost my original co-host and mm -hmm. I was looking at Future of the Forest to try to find some folks to fill in for me for a while. So that was awesome. Um, so, all right, Little Girl, Dragon Buddy, thanks for coming in. Uh, Congrats again. Oh, no, you've got another yes. question? Yes, I do. I do. Because this is sorry, Jerry, but this is again for Luna Girl. OK, so confirm, please confirm, because I mentioned Red Five, uh, uh, Red Five Tavern returns this Saturday. What time does it is it because uh, it's a special time this week? What yes, time? yes. We were going to do 930. However, uh, Rogue is doing three. Rogue. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I did not no, know I that. just keep thinking about you guys. <laughs> 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 Ro, on, uh, Ro and Shanti on Scare of Live are doing three episodes of Andor this Saturday. So we decided that we're going to go live at 10 p.m. And that's Eastern, Eastern, right? That's Eastern. And it's just for this Saturday, only because adulting is hard. So we'll be back to Fridays next week. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. So I guys, know. We, we return. I'm so excited. Yes. yes. So who's getting up at 3 a.m. to watch this uh, East Coast time? Me. Mm. Well, we'll I mean, see. it's midnight for me, we'll but I'm yeah, going to we'll, see how we'll long, see. I, how many of those three I can last through. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. see. We'll Megan, see. I have total faith in you after you pulled an <laughs> eight-hour marathon with me the other day. <laughs> Still don't ask me how I did that. I, I I know, right? That was like the least amount of sleep I've ever gone on. I, I totally. <laughs> I'd like to go to uh, the bottom right square with DJ. <laughs> for the win did um <laughs> kelly did you um promote uh the thing that you were wanting to promote yet oh yeah on um if you guys like music okay uh 
I have a friend. He goes by the name <laughs> of Big Swede. He's got a YouTube channel named Swede Studios. He, yes. <laughs> And he is going, going to, to have for. a new cover release that he did with a couple of guys on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. However, if you want to hear the story behind the cover, which is going to be See There, Rise Above This. If you want to hear the story behind the cover, join us at 7 p.m. I'll be co-hosting with him. It's going to get deep. It will be about, you know... I guess people say trigger warning now, um, suicide prevention and it's mental health awareness. Yeah, um, it's a big thing. Yeah, we never get heavy. Uh, usually we, we laugh, we joke around, we have fun, we talk about shit we love, but this time we're going to get a little bit serious before the cover is released. Sweet is awesome. Nice. So thank you for uh, promoting that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We love you. Yeah. We love you, Kelly. So, uh, Kelly, if you if you can give me a link to that before our show ends tonight, then I can Absolutely. put it in the show notes. Yeah, um, I might have mentioned to Kelly already that I think like we need to like do a crossover because I'm like, uh, have you seen <laughs> our show? Like, it would be perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Sweet would love that. I'll talk to him about it. Cool. I think so. I think so too. <laughs> I mean, music here, you know. What's so, that? Uh, oh. oh, I didn't hear everything Nicole said. <laughs> oh, I said we do music. You know, we play music and all that good stuff here. So it just feels like a really good fit. Oh for yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I agree. Totally, totally. <sighs> right, well, you well, guys, happy one hundred. Thank Can't you. Hey, two hundred. Before you guys leave, DB, why don't you uh, introduce our last music break? All right. Uh, so we've got uh, Dan Vapid and the Cheats coming out of Chicago. Uh, Sour Pauline, Welcome to Dystopia LP is out September 23rd via Eccentric Pop. Eccentric Pop. All right. Here it is. <laughs>
All righty, that was Woo! Dan Vapid and the Cheats with their new single. Um, crap, what was it called? I don't remember. EBay sold it. Sold it. Sour, Sour Pauline, that's coming up on a new uh, album later this month. And if you have not figured it out, we have another guest that stopped by. It is Nicholas from Backyard Yay! Tardis. Hey, Nick, how you doing? Hello. Hey, Nicholas, it's so good to see you. And thank you for dropping by to help us celebrate and party. Yeah. Oh, happy to. I'm glad you guys hit the 100 episode mark. Um, am I coming through okay or have I got a bit of an echo? You're good. Um, sounds good to me, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So, um, so, Nicholas is one of our patrons. So, yeah. thank you. It's awesome. Thank you for your support. And, you know, I, I feel like I was somebody that came in late to the game <laughs> so uh but no, uh no. It, it didn't take but a few a few episodes of listening to realize that i, I wanted to back this <laughs> oh that's awesome we, we really appreciate it uh do you have any favorite moments that you can remember um so i i, I gotta say there's there's been a few and like before, a lot of them have to do with the chat, but uh, <laughs> <Of course. laughs> I, I, I have to say that one of the things that uh, uh, I've really appreciated is just the expanding my music horizons, you know, getting to uh, tie that all in with uh, everything else. It, it's kind of a, a neat mix because I've kind of gotten to a point now where I stop branching out when it comes to music like i have what i listened to when i was younger i was all over the place but uh when it comes to stuff now i <laughs> i don't so mission accomplished kind of a cool experience <laughs> uh the other thing i gotta say is um and this is for the with the chat it, it is hilarious when you guys are positive about something and joker voices is, is melting down <laughs> in the chat <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> hey, where's he tonight? Where's he at? Probably working. Uh, yeah, he's probably oh, working. Probably, probably. He's he's usually in and out depending on his shift. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, – and then I, I like just, you know, you guys are, um, you know, tackling the Marvel, DC, Star Wars. You know, you're not uh, just stuck on it. So it's a, it's a good nerd platter, so to speak. <laughs> Dirt platter, I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so Nicole might have a question for you, but but I gotta ask because Megan wants to know, orange chicken on pizza, yes or no? I didn't. I didn't ask that. See, I was hearing that, and then <laughs> I, I, I have a thing about to pizza. Ask someone else about pineapple on pizza. I sure. I always <laughs> will try it, <laughs> and I I've, I've had some. I've had some pretty, pretty interesting uh, cultural pizzas. Uh, I've, I've experienced a few couple of different takes on a Mexican pizza, and some of them. There was one. It was more of a traditional pizza with then Mexican stuff on top of it with guacamole. In it. It's like, oh, really? was, <laughs> wow! But, uh, but, but I, I'll try any pizza at least once. Yeah. All right, so so it's a yes for orange chicken on pizza with Nicholas. That's great. Um, All right, you, you try it. And poor Megan is not going to be able to live this down. <laughs> well, I mean, Tina, if you look at the chat, Tina said her niece also doesn't like um, tacos, so apparently I'm not alone. So, <laughs> how would this orange chicken pizza go about, though? Like, would we start with uh, like a cheese pizza and put it on there, or maybe? Um, like a barbecue pizza and put it, or just, just start with a pizza and use the orange sauce about, as the pizza sauce. What what about like a Thai sauce? See there. Well, then it would yeah. be orange chicken. It would be like no, Thai chicken. Yeah, or you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. It, it, it would have to be thin crust. Now, oh, yeah. where I live, there Wait, is a Tina, pizza place. Tina, that does, you want to put uh, mashed potatoes on a pizza? Indian pizza. <laughs> Wait, hold up. We got two conversations happening. We have mashed potatoes <laughs> pizza and then Indian pizza. Is that what you just said, Nicholas? Yeah. They, uh, so, you know, if you've ever wanted a curry beef pizza, they, they have that here. Oh. It's, it's interesting. 
That's I think you found uh, the next food Nicole wants to try. No, it just sounds interesting. Sounds good. Uh, Steve, what did you say about mashed potatoes on pizza? Somebody in here was talking about putting mashed potatoes on pizza. Now I can't find out who it was. So, uh, so Rhode Island, there's a pizzeria in Rhode Island that has special orders, and they just went on sale, I think, this last week. It's called the Thanksgiving Pizza. <gasps> I love so Thanksgiving Pizza. It's, it's, it's a regular pizza crust, but then they put gravy as, like, the sauce, and then there's turkey and cranberries and stuffing and it's all in cheese. It's all, uh, oh, it's so, it's an absolutely amazing. Oh, uh, what? Egg <laughs> salad on pizza? No. Ew. <laughs> okay, the chat is going full on disgusting with the pizza toppings. Coffee grounds? That made my mouth hurt. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Porg on pizza. That's good. Okay. No. No. Porgs are friends. <laughs> hey, if we can have well, barbecue you know, and chicken pizza. Speaking outside Ray's comment about porgs, so. You know what I say to that porgs are friend comment? <laughs> I, I, I raise goats. My goats are my pets. I would never eat my goats. But I still enjoy a goat taco. <gasps> mm. I I agree, so, boy. I mean, people that raise chickens are probably the same way. The chickens might be their pets, but they might still eat chicken. Okay. So, uh, you know, yeah. Man, there's some disgusting Ooh, pizza Porks options. are friends, but they, they can also be delicious. I've seen a fried egg on a pizza, too. Oh, I could have, okay. I I have have a different. octopus on pizza. Oh, see, Josh, no, I, I can't go there. I actually do not what did Josh like. Josh just say? I do not like shepherd's pie. It's, oh, I love shepherd's pie. I, I do. All right, well, it's I know what Josh and I are going to have when we, if I ever make it out to Seattle. Okay. Well, hey, Nicholas, thanks for stopping by and helping us celebrate yeah. uh, our hundredth. Yeah. Yep. And here's to a hundred more. All right. Thank thanks you. a lot. So, so Nick has a. Great yes. show as well. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, absolutely. yeah, the backyard TARDIS uh, and adventures in locksmithing. Uh, oh, I yeah. absolutely love those. I, I don't know how many times I've listened to them, but yeah, uh, uh, keep up the great work, Nick. Appreciate yeah. it. I, I had one this morning <gasps> that I you recorded. Oh, I uh, want to share a quick story. <laughs> it was a uh, pretty pretty bad house. <laughs> So, uh, and I got I got a video of the inside of the house. So, another another scary one to, video, to see. Awesome! Wow. I love them. Nicholas, where work. where can everybody find you on social media so they can discover your locksmithing and um, so like on YouTube, it's just the Backyard Tardis, and then um, on Twitter for whatever reason, Twitter wanted they didn't like the word yard, so I'm just back Tardis on there. <laughs> Back TARDIS. I never noticed that. I've always assumed. Yeah, I, I, mean, I actually never noticed that you didn't have backyard on Twitter. I always, I never noticed. BYT. But I, I think I actually come up when you search with yard. But for whatever reason, Twitter shortened my my at. Mm. Naughty Twitter. So, but Na but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm irregular. I, hats off to you guys. You, you make. A dedicated time every week in and week out. I'm I'm all over the road here, there, yeah. and I, I seem to go in spurts. I'll record a bunch of stuff. Yeah, slowly well, start tripping it out, and then. Yeah, well, and I thank you for that. I but I also have to to throw out though that we, I, and everybody knows here. You know, we talked about earlier that there were moments where we have, we did have stops and things like that, and you know, I definitely think we support each other. That if we say, "Hey, we're just having a rough day or a rough week. Hey, can we move it? Can we can we switch this up?" So it's you know, it works, and uh, I think that's what's really cool about my co-hosts is I love the fact that we can really love each other and support each other, and that's of course it's really cool about about you and everybody that's in the chat as well as our red five network is the fact that we really do take care of each other. Uh, we love on each other. We support each other. If you, you know, if you're having a hard time, there is always somebody within 40 pods. Yes. People red five network is now officially at 40 and going and growing. 
Um, there's always somebody there to, to be there in your corner and to, to be there. And I think that's, what's really different about not just us, but the red five network. We really are with each other, you know, music is always awesome. Fandom's always great, but I think that's what changes the dynamic is it's the support. It's the love. Yep. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Nicholas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so now we are about to bring on the instigators. Uh oh. Oh boy. Hold on. Here we go. We have Chantel, Josh, and Tina. We have arrived. Now I'm hungry. Now it's going to be crickets in the chat room. Now, the the chat room now. now you're hungry. What's that supposed to mean? I'm in the middle square. <laughs> you're talking about food in the chat the whole time. <laughs> Hey, Hi. Aren't, you the, <laughs> aren't you usually in the middle? Oh, oh, <laughs> she's the meat in between the bread. <laughs> Finger cuffs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so right now you're between DJ and Josh. Don't make him laugh. Don't make High him laugh. five, DJ. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do that when it's the, never mind. I'm good. But you have to rest the latest. <laughs> you're still, you're right. You're, you're also still our sandwich there. See, <laughs> see, we've got. A, I'm on uh, the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah, Nicole's the meat in the top sandwich. Shanti's the meat in the middle, and then Tina's just on her own doing her own thing. Tina's just the meat. <laughs> oh, the meaty baby. Look at Megan. Megan's done. That's okay, okay. DJ is for... crying right now. So yeah, I know the Kagani is for air. <laughs> Alan's in the house. So I don't even Blake. know where to begin. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. How you doing? And Blake's here too. And Blake. Oh, Blake. 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 So, Aww. Um, Dude, all right. it's too late. They've already broken me. <laughs> yeah. See, that was yeah. As soon as the three instigators came on, I knew I was broken. I knew I was lost. Oh, we could have broke you another oh, way. Broken. Oh, it's uh, this is only tip of the iceberg. Uh, no. <laughs> and that's a scary thing. It's not even all the way in yet. <laughs> all right. So, so before we get into the Rogue One Radio discussion, I, I've, I've got to ask the question. You know what the question is, don't you? I guess orange chicken on pizza. Yes, no, <laughs> man. <laughs> Megan has to know these things. I didn't know. I'm, I'm with Nick, man. I would, I'd try anything at least once. Yeah, we well, know. That's why you have herpes. I'll probably eat anything on it. Seriously, I mean, probably. I won't lie. I mean, usually I'll try it twice because sometimes the first time was bad shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're fired again. <laughs> How many times has Josh been fired? 25. Uh, so okay. I'm glad you're keeping count. track. I am. Yeah. Uh, He's someone has to. Tired. Do I get a prize when I hit a certain number or something? Maybe. Like hey, maybe when you hit 100, you can have a celebration too. A firing? <laughs> yeah, 100 firings. I will. Well, congratulations to you guys. It'll take us 10 years at the rate we're going because, you know, somebody has to take breaks. Prize didn't the take us 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at this point, let's see. How long have we actually been a show? We've been. Uh, well, I was on the three cast, years. That was in three years in November. Years. Yeah. It, it won't it, take long for us to it, get a hun to hundred firings. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's it's just, I was referring to episodes, but that's okay. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no hundred firings. They will hit that by tomorrow. Again, Twenty-six. Yeah, that'll be like next week. Well, thank you. No, I don't know. So next Saturday, at least a week. Maybe. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> my strike Blake, rate isn't that bad. Blake, Blake is right. We need a Josh is fired tally. We need to keep these. You need to keep us informed of how many times he's been fired. That's on Twitter account. How many times is Josh fired? Yeah, <laughs> that's, right. that's the new Twitter poll. Yeah, exactly. So, um, favorite thing about the show? Breaking DJ. Can't say chat. Yes. Yes. Don't break, DJ. <laughs> Look, he's so that. stoic. He's so stoic, and he's so intense, and he's the serious one, you know. And everything, and everything that comes out is so thoughtful. You're not the serious one. And, and we, I know that. We can just 
Here he comes back. DJ King for that. I get you, man. Corey DJ. But breaking you is the best part. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. It was a couple of weeks ago. I'm like yeah. Kelly. I also like the uh, the music breaks because I kind of stay in my wheelhouse now and I don't listen to the radio anymore. So I'm very unaware. So even if this music might be a little, you know, on the older side, I still have never heard a lot of these rock On the songs. older side, most of the stuff is I brand don't... new. Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like to me, it's brand new. So oh, I wouldn't gotcha. know. I wouldn't know if it was new or, or, or not because it's just all new so... to me. Yeah, I, I agree with that. With the, with yeah, the music. and I, I love watching Chandy Nicole when she. I, I could tell when she's reading the chat. <laughs> Nicole, <laughs> she's seeing. Us. I can tell you guys in regards to the music. I would say about ninety-seven percent of it is like stuff that just came out within mm -hmm. the last couple of months or hasn't even come out yet. And you see, that's good because yeah. I was very much under the impression that rock was dead. Oh no! So I'm glad to see that it's it's not because. Right. It exposed. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't like a lot of the stuff that I. Yeah, I didn't like a lot of the rock that came out when I was in high school. You're fired. No. Oh. no. <laughs> boot her off. She's fired. You need to boot her off. Then I don't get fired. Off. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Josh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. You just wait one day. One day. For what? Well, I don't know the next uh, whatever oh, the next exactly. chat I'm in that I'm moderating and you're not. Salacious oh, took that away from me by making you a moderator. Oh yeah, that's um, right. But yeah, I'm totally gonna moderator. wrinch you. I'm totally gonna do it. Just the first thing out of your mouth, it's gonna be like wrenched. Three hundred <laughs> second timeout. Yeah, that's what's happening. Surprise! Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. <laughs> Wait, I'm on. Did you just see her? She's like, wait, what did you do to me? <laughs> oh my god, how did you get on here? Oh, hi. <laughs> here she is. She's, She's like, like wait, are you on? Surprise. <laughs> so quickly, I want to ask Tina, because you didn't get a chance either. What were have been some of your favorite moments or memories from the last hundred episodes? Well, I'm going to admit that I was late to the party. I'm, I'm late to the party when it comes to Rogue One, Rogue One Radio. Pardon me. I can't say all that at one point um, because I wasn't even familiar with Red 5 Network uh, probably until about, uh, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago. So I was late to Twitter. I'm just late to the party, but that's OK. Um, mm -hmm. But honestly, for me, I mean, I love everything you'll talk about, um, but my answers aren't any more original than the other ones because I really I just really like the overall vibe and I like the music and I like the topics. I like that y'all aren't afraid to have a, a discourse on camera that's respectful because who wants to listen to everybody just agreeing the whole time? Like, let's have a little that's, bit of spirited discussion, yeah. right? Respectful yeah. spirited discussion. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and respectful of the chat too. And I have to agree with, with, uh, what Nick said about Joker voice going off in the chat <laughs> and y'all are just like, okay, Joker, you know, and y'all just keep going, you know, you, you, you address his points and then you just keep, cause he'll, he'll like be going off. <laughs> We, and, we allow opinions. You do, and you dress them respectfully, and then you just move on. He's still over there doing this. <laughs> Bouting <laughs> off, and y'all like this. And this and is like my saying, favorite like, thing tonight at this point. Like, he like, has things to say. It's okay. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> even when we disagree, we yeah. try to keep it positive. We, right. We try is to be very to right? each other. Right? Yeah. Nothing That's wrong with a good, healthy good debate. discussion. Yeah. yeah, that and they exactly. typically find some way to relate it back to humor so we can all laugh at each other. Of course. That's the key. Yeah. As long as we're yeah. keeping it pervy in the chat, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> See, Josh knows. Yeah. Josh yeah. from show. That's yeah, every I'm, chat. Apparently, I'm talking right too chat. much anyway. Kelly told me earlier, I just, I'm supposed to sit here and learn how to sit here and be cute and, and look pretty. Not talk, so. <laughs> so, as you can see, the shocked surprise guest. Uh, is Danny from Comics and Cosmetics? Yeah, warned me. I was. Hi. Welcome. I, I did that on purpose. I totally did that on purpose because I knew you, I saw that you were distracted. And I'm like, I'm gonna pop her in. And she was just looking, and she what? I realized. I was waiting. I was waiting for a finger up the nose, but I didn't get it. So. I call shenanigans. <laughs> you can call I, shenanigans all you want. I just that's, like that's touched up my name. face because I have no makeup on and it's Dave's <laughs> birthday. So I've been cooking and stuff that I was like, oh, I should touch this up real quick. And then all of a sudden I hear my name. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> before anything else, you have not necessarily an announcement. I guess you can call it an announcement. You have you have something to promote that's coming out Saturday. Oh yeah. You don't have to say <laughs> what it is, uh, but since uh, two thirds of Rogue One Radio are patrons of mine, <laughs> um, you guys get you know priority in the suggestion box, and you, Steve, give me a pretty, 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 pretty good suggestion. <laughs> and uh, just in time for Andor, I will be debuting my Saw Guerrera video. Yes. Trauma and the trauma and love of Saw Guerrera. Yes. That sounds like a really good topic. And I like the fact that you weren't afraid. Well, I mean, yes, it's his suggestion, but going there especially to talk about trauma. Very well, important. You know, that was something that's always kind of stuck in my head about Saw. Um, is you could just see that it, he's hurting, he's in pain. And uh the more I read about him and stuff, the more I you know, got into the research, I thought to myself, well, this this can't just be a normal video where I just kind of chronologically go through their story, you know, just kind of break down their their story. It it turned into more of a, a character study on Saw Guerrera, his the psychology behind him. Mm -hmm. So it it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That sounds awesome. Well, yeah. I, I think that go segues into what Andor is going to be about too. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of trauma in Andor mm -hmm. with these people, you know, with the covert and fighting and all these things that they're going to have to go through to fight the Empire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And um, as for the orange chicken question, um, yeah. I've been thinking about it. The most important um, question of the night. Of course, I've been of thinking. I've given it some serious thought. And uh, I think that if you made a crust like crab rangoon, like a big crab rangoon, yes. put down a bed Whoa. of fried rice with the orange chicken on top. <laughs> There you I'm go, Megan. Orange chicken pizza. You You're you welcome. You can eat it. Use it. I give you permission. Yes. I tried. You, you know, know Megan, you know Chicago Beach orange chicken, chicken pizza? Wants creating orange chicken pizza at this point. Deep like, dish the investor, orange chicken rule pizza. Rule number four. <laughs> so it's what we yell in my house when everyone's talking at the same time and you can't understand. <laughs> yes. Deep dish orange chicken pizza. <laughs> The more carbs you can get into your body, the better. I love hey, man, I'm on this special medication for insulin, and I can't process carbohydrates. I just crap them right out. So bring them on. Thank you. <laughs> so I, I have don't get a chance to stick to the hips if they if they're going in and going out. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, what uh, I am curious to Madam Shanti, because I know mm -hmm. you, you're about to get a little bit busier this upcoming month. What is coming up on Scare Factor Dark with you so, and your maybe fired, not fired <laughs> co-host? Co-host? Um, what? Uh, I mean, I have no problems being a guest. You know, if you need one to fill in for the fired, but you know. Damn. Well, What's we <laughs> they're already making plans yeah. for their demise, Josh. Oh, he can burn himself. Hey, <laughs> well, if you need a guest for for after dark, here is somebody. <gasps> oh, 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 that moment of Kitty had a two two. See, I want my cat but she's such a bitch. God. <laughs> yeah, <I'll laughs> later. Leia just does not care. My cat is such a subject. I swear to God. I love animals. My cat. I'm just trying not to say anything lewd. I wonder if I was God. blue. Why would you do that to Leia? Because <laughs> Leia doesn't care. Why I would I want to find a okay, kitty? Why Leia would on. I? I would not. I was gonna say I'm sure that wasn't Steve's doing. No. Right. no. Well, the question is, how hard did Steve fight against that? Probably not a lot. Not hard. <laughs> um. Well, I can tell you this. Not hard enough. <laughs> <What's> it happen? <laughs> she looks so cute there. She's like, oh, oh, me and my pretty. Steve was taking the pictures. 
<laughs> so He's just there to watch. Involved. That's all. If the <laughs> animal doesn't seem bothered by it, I'm okay with it. Videos available later. <laughs> so, Manor, back to the question. What is coming up on Scarif after? All right. So oh, I'm on yeah. a little brief hiatus because I need a right. break. And so we're coming back on October 8th. And we're doing two shows because we go back to back with with Blake. So Blake takes one Saturday and then we take the other Saturday. So we have two shows in October. The first one coming up is Horror, the Ultimate Aphrodisiac. And we're going to have Kelly on. And because my memory sucks, I want to say there was somebody else, maybe DB, but I don't remember for the life of me. And then um, I believe the 22nd. You're welcome. And then the 22nd, <laughs> we're going to do the Hotties of Horror. Oh, yes. I'm looking oh, for God. So I, yeah, yeah. I want to make for that one. Bring so, it. Mm -hmm. So I want Bill Zora on for that one because that, that was actually Bill Zora's uh, suggestion. So, and I would like a bigger, a fuller panel for that one. So, yeah. Tina, Steve, it doesn't matter whoever. <laughs> it's cool. It's open. I'm awesome. I'm excited. Hell yeah. Excited. <laughs> I am All really right, so uh, Tina and Josh and uh, Chantel, thanks for coming in and helping You're us welcome. celebrate. Thank you. Happy 100. Congratulations. Bye. Bye. Happy 100 to another 100. Thanks for having us on. Thank you, thank thank you. you so Bye, much. You Danny, you as well. Go get your food finished. And yeah, we happy are birthday, Dave. Happy anxiously, birthday. anxiously waiting Saturday's episode. Yes. And I want to say that that was an exclusive release here that outside of Patreon. Yeah. And we normally don't no one else people. knew what was happening on Saturday. So Rogue One got the exclusive. Yes. Happy 100th. You heard it here first. <laughs> Happy 100, guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy 100, guys. Yes. Yeah, Thank you. Guys. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Tina, you're still here. Oh, uh, there you go. All right. So next up, we have Scott and Kim from Used and Abused. Uh, although we uh, show up after them, we really should be their opening act. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, hold up. I, I have to say this because I can say this because I feel very confident in this. Thank you, because Scott and Kim. <laughs> I think they absolutely love when I, that they're earlier now because now I have more time if I want to guest on their show. I can't. And I <laughs> love to be in their chat. They, today they're talking about Breakfast Club, and I'm like, Oh, they're talking about Breakfast Club. And anybody who knows, we've done a John Hughes episode, and Breakfast Club is my favorite. And I was just going nuts in the, the in the chat, and I am already looking forward to future things I will be doing with them and things I've done in the past with them. And so, you, I have also a question. I'm a total. If y'all can't tell, this is where I am a rabbit. Um. <laughs> Where did the name used and abused come from? Because I have always been curious. Where in the world? Because I go, used and abused, what did y'all do to each other? And I go, there's got to be a fun story. There has to be a fun story behind this. Because there's no way that there was used, y'all didn't use each other, y'all didn't abuse each other. So there's got to be a fun story behind it. So from the last, from the last well, year, I yes, mean, I, I do put makeup on the height of my bruises. Story there. <laughs> I'm joking. No, use okay. So, use and abuse pretty much came from. A, well, I mean, I started I started the podcast by myself. It was straight music. That's all I talked about. You know, we'll start off with uh, was Tennessee Ernie Ford, Motley Crue. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was only doing like one album by these artists. I wasn't like like with the Motley Crue episode. I only did Too Fast for Love. Mm -hmm. I was going to do each album as a you know all, mm -hmm. all their albums of these different bands. And so I'm just like, we're talking about it. And she's like, well, what are you going to call it? I'm like, I don't know. And I, we just happened to find, which are back here behind us up, all these, all of my old cassette tapes from the 80s. And I'm looking at them, I'm like, damn, these things have been used and abused. <gasps> and she went, there's your front, there's your, there's your name. <laughs> I'm trying to watch my language. But... So you guys a t-shirt this is gotta be your this is your logo you need a t-shirt and your logo should be a cassette tape that says used and abused oh you're welcome uh, and it, and the cassette tape has to look used and abused it has to look worn 
I'll have to actually with the, I'll, I'll, with, the pe with the pencil in it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days, weren't they? So DB says that we're supposed to say the word penis. <laughs> okay, we'll say. So, so is that? So I guess that means Rogue One radios come out with dildos. <laughs> that's scare factor well, and Shanti um, and Mel. That, that's not. <laughs> that's not something I thought of, and uh, let's try. To, Let's try not to go there. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> That's all right. I think I'm the only one who was able to keep a straight face. There. <laughs> Boom. Wow. And I created. Oh. Mm. Nice way to rub it in, Nicole. But yeah. What? No. I said nice way to rub it in, that you're the only one able to keep a straight face. This time around. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's where used and abuse came from. Again, awesome. it was just. I, and the thing was, is I actually took, um, I had an Elvis record that I beat the crap out of. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I got, I well, I got it. I got it. Hold on, Nicole. I got it when I was, what, was seven that? years old. <laughs> and so I pretty much <laughs> grabbed things I, I beat up. You know, I had a rock set tape that's cassette tape on there that I'll have to post a picture somewhere one of these days because I got the original front cover picture that we used to have and there's like a broken rock set tape on there uh mm -hmm. a sticks cassette tape that's got uh, i think it had coke spilled on it <laughs> and then a beat up ipod mm -hmm. you know and that's what was the original cover yeah yeah <gasps> kim we got an idea for you <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's not getting mad, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll have to find, I'll have to find that picture, and and because I I do have the original cover of what we yeah. originally did, and I don't. Kim came on like a, a fourth I, episode or something, fourth yeah, or fifth episode. Actually, what it was was he. We were doing the anniversary of the eruption of Mount St. Helens, and we had happened. Well, he had looked it up and found that there was a record with uh the song about the old man that harry truman harry truman that remained on the mountain so he asked me he says would you like to come on and help me break down this music and i says sure so i did one episode with him and then i let him do it and then about it was january of the next year yeah january of the next year he asked me he says would you like to come on and co-host with me and we'll just do music no actually i did we did an interview section with you. yeah he he interviewed me for his podcast and then he says would you like to come back on and be my co-host and i says sure maybe once in a while and then it just ended up once in a while being part of it so in other words nicole same story for rogue one yeah exactly yeah. Well, kind of my story well no my story is that i know so one, the first podcast I ever um, was on was actually DJ's. Um, it was not for Rogue One. It was for um, his Red Four Charlie one, I think, or something. And him and I had done a podcast. And then eventually I think he said, hey, do you want to do this? And da -da. And okay, and I, I have it, you know, I went to broadcasting school and stuff. I'm like, well, might as well use my diploma for something. And um and that's kind of how it started. It all started because because of DJ, because of DJ. There you go. Exactly. Tina, I mean, Tina, that that is a disturbing uh, image. Image. There's an image. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't have that in my mind. Now I wish I did. Does anyone have the brain bleach? Please. I don't think I can unsee that now. <laughs> I'm meeting Kim because I know she gets laughing. Yeah, I know. I'm like, the world and we don't have brain Kim, bleach. Kim, meditate, honey. Meditate. Uh -uh. Other things. Other things. Other things. Um, You're not right. putting Kim in the hospital for laughter, people. Okay, so orange chicken on pizza, yes or no? Well, I have one. I have one rule, and that is, you can't knock it unless you try it. And okay. I agree. Okay. So now, I would give it a shot. Danny made a really good suggestion. What if it was a crab ragoon like crust? And oh man, yeah. the way she described it, I was like, yeah. sold. <laughs> Let yeah, me no. try it. No, I, I'm willing to try anything once. And if I like it, I like it. If I don't, then don't do it. I mean, 
that's why there's nights where she's like, I don't know what to have for dinner, and I will just literally walk out there, grab whatever, and just start throwing stuff into a pan. Yeah, you will. <laughs> and hopefully it turns out good. If it don't, then oh well, don't do it again. As long as you don't get food poisoning out of it, you're good. Right. That's right. And a lot of times it's like, wow, okay, that turned out great. Now what did I do? Because I didn't write nothing down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, how much of this and how much of that did I put right. into this uh -huh. thing? Right. But yeah, no, I mean, I try it once. Awesome. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah, um, Steve, I have a question for you. Should that be the name of this episode? Orange Chicken Pizza? Orange Chicken on question Pizza. Mark? Oh, I'm, I'm sure it'll be somewhere in the show notes. Oh, I <laughs> um, think that our episodes now are sometimes like there's the main title and then it's kind of like with friends. Like, the episode known, also known as, like, also known as the cake episode, or also known as the episode where they break the host, or also known as the orange chicken episode. Or the cheesecake episode. That was hilarious. The cheesecake episode was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kim and Scott, thanks for dropping by and helping us celebrate. Uh, yes. they are, uh, Kim and Scott are also one of our patrons, so uh, yeah. really appreciate their uh, yeah. patronage and helping us keep the ship afloat happy yeah. 100 you guys yes right. <laughs> have a great day you guys and, uh, thanks for having fun thanks for coming by Bye. Bye. all right next up i'm not sure if they are ready um oh are they no, well, are they oh, no, he's, ready. he's ready he's ready he's ready he's ready okay so oh, no. uh, it's me oh, I, thought it was Mario. I thought it was somebody no. else it's me. <laughs> I thought it was else. And you guys are seeing his background, right? Yeah, I made this logo. <laughs> I'll post it in the Discord because I spent like five whole minutes looking for sick pictures of fire. Like that's what yeah, I've been doing this whole time. Else. What? Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve, you should put that as your green screen background right now. There. I don't have a green screen. It's just a sheet. <laughs> You can't use a sheet like a green screen. I could, but I don't want to. Mm. <laughs> I'm just going to, uh, I'd like to get this one out of the way. If you put orange chicken on pizza, I'm getting a restraining order against you. That's a sin. <laughs> That's a sin. I'm getting, no, I'm getting rid of you. Just so, don't get near me. <laughs> so I'm guessing the answer to the question, orange chicken on pizza, yes or no, I guess he would be a no. No, no. That's not no. okay. Okay, okay. I'm, gotcha. Gotcha. So, I guess we also know the answer to the question, biggest food crime against pizza, orange chicken on pizza. No, that'd be pineapple on pizza. Any fruit ah. on pizza is a sin against me, personally. Okay. Can we talk so, about the show now? Oh, <laughs> uh, we can. So you you were the, the co-host for... A, um, a good minute. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember what your first episode was. I think 12. it was. It was yeah. twelve. It was. Yes. Uh, it was about Outer Rim. We talked about the Outer Rim board game. I looked it up. I, I'm. Well, he's way I'm more prepared ready for this I one. <laughs> he, he prepared, unlike me. Um, yeah, we really talked cool. about the Outer Rim board game, and then that is really kind of where we started deviating <laughs> from the whole Star Wars thing. We started yeah. talking about other stuff. Uh, had a really fun episode about Batman back in September of 2020. Uh, the, the Superman episode with uh, Mr. Lefty. Dave, yeah, Dave yeah. Brown was on there with us. That was that, that was, was a crazy. chaotic episode. I remember that one very that, vividly. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any uh, memorable moments from memorable moments? Uh, Superman episode was ridiculous. The one time you let me do an episode that was Minecraft and it was just me reading off my phone for an hour. That was, why would you let me do that? I have no idea. I think my favorite, so I, I really don't have a favorite memory because, I don't know, it's just been something that has existed for a long time for me. Like, it, it, it really feels like this is, like, if this ended, I'd personally be very confused. It's, it's a constant in a very scary world, which is sad because it's a Star Wars podcast. Well, kinda. run by unprofessionals. Well, I hey, mean, now. 
But apparently also brought how chaotic this show can get. So it's oh yeah, no. yet chaotic. I like it. I like it. I like um I don't always talk in chat, but I'll come in and they'll be talking about like meat sabers or something. I'm like, yep, that's the <laughs> that's the same old show I remember. Um meat things might be a little bit different than beef jerky, my friends. <laughs> what about beef jerky? I don't want to know. Might be different than beef jerky. Chat scares me. <laughs> Auntie Chat scares you. Chat me. Chat Who scares? Who scares Chat. you? Just chat in Thank general. <laughs> it, it can get, general. It can get pretty crazy in here. So I'll tell you what. Since we are uh, actually running a little bit behind, st stay with us, Blue, and I'm going to bring on our our next uh, guest, and it it's, is Techie. Daddy! Oh, look, there he is. Hey, God, the this is like started. a terrible radio show. I've been waiting for forever. Hey, me too. I've been in here for like, I love hanging out with my friends. I have plans tonight. Hey, <laughs> and and look where you are now. I'd like to wish Techie a happy belated on birthday birthday. Because yesterday was his birthday. And I received I zero gifts from anybody, so thanks. Hey, me too. Well, I, I promise you next time we're playing Mario Kart, I'll send a shell gift or something. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> yes. I appreciate that. I promise. It's in the mail. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Hey, I like the logo. It looks like my daughter drew it. Nice job. <laughs> nice job, Blue. Well done. Hey. Welcome well, to actually, the show. I spent five minutes at Pixlr on this shit. <laughs> I, and, I will and, not be insulted. And you guess come what? Into my house. I believe on, it. On the I believe you spent five wedding. minutes. I believe I you did. did spend five minutes. And that's all the effort I'm going to put into this show. <laughs> that's no problem. Who cares about quality and clarity and non blurriness? Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that's why I don't wear glasses. It's all blurry to me. It's fine. Sure Congratulations, it friends, on your 100 episodes. I think I have 100 episodes across my 16 different handles. Uh, some, somehow. 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 How is everyone doing tonight? Megan, why are you here? What's going on here? Are you part she's of the show now? Did I miss something? <laughs> Apparently. No, no, she's here to talk about orange chicken on pizza. Well, I'm not going to talk about that. So you're the culprit. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that. Listen, I don't talk about nonsense, and I don't talk about silliness. That's what my show's for. So why are you here? Up your show, Techie, every Wednesday. I, that's true. That's true. I'm, I'm glad we have, we're a conduit of crazy on the Wednesdays. It's nuts. Well, Tuesday, conduit Tuesday of crazy. crazy. I right. thought he was about to say something else, but he went conduit. I'm like, okay. I can't control where your brain goes, Nicole. Listen, we've already talked about what? this, okay? <laughs> Why do I have to be the same one tonight? You <laughs> saying you really? saying yeah, really that's <laughs> questionable right, debate about and all the good stuff. That is very disturbing. <laughs> With that uh, fire logo, you call yourself saying? Yeah, this is sick as fuck. <laughs> no, see, here's the thing, though, guys. Okay, this fire thing—that's the most sane thing about him. <laughs> and yeah. that's the scary part. <laughs> How dare you? Techie, what have you been up? Techie, what did you do wrong, Techie? What did you induce? Yeah. <laughs> what? You've driven what us against each other. <laughs> I, then my, my, my purpose is complete. Thank you. We did it. Oh, okay, bye. I, 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 eh, eh. Okay, Techie, <laughs> what have you been up to? Is Star Wars Extra Techie returning? Okay. Are we gaming tomorrow night? Of course. Okay. I'm just curious what you're up to because I know you've been busy. You're back to school. We're back in school. We're we're doing a lot of stuff. We had a lot of tech funness going down the past couple of weeks. I've been I, when I work at home for school. That's how you know we're in the shit, right? Because I don't like working at home. So we've been we've been grinding every night trying to to iron out some data stuff. I don't want to bore you with the details, but it's a lot of data syncing that has to happen with uh, certain applications. Uh, Wi-Fi crapped out for three days. That was a lot of fun. I had to change a subnet mask on a server, which blew up every device in the building, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I had to reset up a lot of things for no reason. So I've been a little busy, you know. Esports, esports has started at school, so that's when the kids get competitive. They play Mario Kart competitively. 
Uh, we just started a Splatoon team. So I'm learning that That's game. Cool. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, the kids like it, and that takes up a fair amount of time. Um, Wednesday nights are my Mario Kart practice nights for the kids. So that's why we're probably not doing Wednesday nights. I got to talk to the boys to see what we're doing uh, show wise. Tuesdays usually are our landing night for that because we like to have Rogue One spew their nonsense and all the other shows spew their nonsense. And then we'll clean it all up for Red Five and make it make sense on <laughs> Tuesday before the next show comes out. You know, it's no big deal. We'll fix it. Uh, so that's, you know, that's coming down the line. The first show is probably going to be 16 hours long. You know, no big, you know, between the summaries and uh, the, the, the ones, the one sentence summaries and, and whatever. Yeah, just about 16, 16, five, something like that. Uh, then, then listen, it's like Monday, we got to fit it in. But at the same time, like, I'm not looking forward to divorce. So I have to be very mindful of the family life. And yeah. uh, we, we have to balance this sort of thing. Uh, with with the lady and you know we, we might be on hiatus for a little bit while we figure out the schedule and i know that's yep. it's upsetting to megan i know that you you anchor on to us it keeps you going every single week uh but we'll we'll figure out a time i've got to i've got to be strategic in my planning of of everything so anyway we're going to do 4 a.m mario kart tournaments uh every monday so I'll Goodbye. see you. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning with some coffee, and uh, we'll figure it out. No, it's just—it's one of those things. I go through these ebbs and flows of my content creation. Like I've been wanting to do stuff, and then I sit down at nine thirty, and I go, you know, sitting is nice. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Sitting is nice. I don't have to create any content. It's just one of those things. So we'll we'll figure it all out. I'll, I'll start once. Like October hits for me, that's when things start to equalize at school, and then I can see how much workload we have, and then we'll start to sort of bring it up. But I'll tell you right now, if you're not into YouTube shorts, you're going to want to start getting into YouTube shorts, because that's going to be your pathway oh. into monetization as fast as possible. Uh, all you need is 10 million views in one month. It's fine. <laughs> it's, no, it's no big deal. Yeah. it's no big deal with how long you took to make that logo you can make a short because it didn't take you a long time so it's fine it's coming to my house. <laughs> I'm just saying you know, this is in your house though hey here's how to make a logo in under 30 seconds fire <laughs> and the logo there it looks is. That's cool that's right. yeah i mean sure whatever you say i'm not uh, putting effort fine. into this show <laughs> i'm a, just here as a favor to my dad Wait, For wait! Sure. You asked sure. me to come on here. No, you beg every what? week. Well, I, no, no, you I call don't. me sobbing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll figure it all out. And um, hey, listen, this is your night. This is your celebration. So, I mean, what what is your plan for the next one hundred episodes? Plan? Well, the next they like sixteen plan? are going to be Andor, probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, after Not that, who knows? we just Not make the show up as we go along, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Ooh, tough. Yeah. It's tough. You got to lesson plan this stuff. You got to, you got to, yep. you got to make it meaningful. It's my, it's my biggest gripe with my own content is I ask myself the question: <laughs> Is what I'm making meaningful? Does it matter in the long yeah. run, or are we just spewing nonsense for people to listen to? Well, sometimes nonsense right. is fun to listen to. <laughs> I agree. I agree for sure. That's why the Wednesdays were were great because I mean that's nonsense. You definitely don't want to repeat. That's non-repeatable nonsense, but it's nonsense nonetheless. So yeah, but we also have like really the new time and isn't on Saturdays or Sundays because I'm typically working those days and I still like to be a part. Yeah, it'll probably be, never be a weekend just because you know unless you're okay with me doing diapers on camera. Uh, it's not going to happen. You know, it's just the week. The weekends, you know, are the family time. That's just for me. So just don't worry about the weekends. You know, it's is what it is. But does Friday count as a weekend? Because unfortunately, I'm typically working those as well. Sure. Sure. Totally get it. Totally get it. Blue, what are you doing? What is what are you content creating? What are you doing? I am. I'm yeah. just waiting for my chance for everyone else to be quiet so I can talk. Uh, okay. Well, well, then you can wait another five minutes because I'll go on another uh, uh, oh, okay. five minutes of, of talking. That's no problem. Um, by the way, I have a, I have some news for you, Blue. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not okay with this but, sort of event. But, but he's really not because I'm literally right here. Whatever, whatever you hey, say, I buddy. There's something to tell me. Whatever you say. 
I'm not doing this shit for free if you're not my dad. One second. <laughs> you better start collecting. That's what I would say. How did this become the Mori Por Hovage or Jerry? Yeah, I don't like this. Let's thing. move on. Jerry Let's talk about your feelings, Nicole. Blood. I would like to 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 really analyze this. That'd Wait a second. Great. Can we talk? Can I can I can I swerve to She Hulk and 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 make a claim that it is top five Disney Plus no. Marvel shows? You you can claim anything you want. You can claim. You can have an opinion. We we respect that. I think it is. I think it's hilarious. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Oh, yeah. I mean, I I mean, not not I to like sh- string us off target, but I actually do like it better than I WandaVision. Well, that's a crime against God. Uh, and <laughs> not, I will be coming really. for you. I will and be coming that is for how you. Steve died. Yeah, no, I'm I'm I mean booking tickets now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm taking over the show. Invitations no, are a heads up order uh, yes. for Steve's funeral now. <laughs> That's going to be the next episode. We're live streaming his funeral. It's going to be the first episode where I take over and finish yeah, what he started, like Kylo Ren. I'd actually, I'd soul. watch that. I'd, I'd set a reminder for that job. I'm, I'm, I'm not your grandfather. <laughs> so in other words, Steve, this is your morning to get everything in order. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, th- okay. So, well, Techie, thanks for coming in and helping us celebrate 100 episodes. Hey, happy Father's Day, Steve. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> get me out of here. I'm done. Get get me out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, Blue, you're going to have to drop out for a bit. We might bring you back. We'll see. Bye. You can advertise later. We got, we Bye, got some more, more folks coming in. I'm not leaving. I'll be in chat. <laughs> <laughs> And now we have Blake and Todd. What's up? Blake yeah. From What's up? Wars What's up? and Todd from WSTR. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having us. Cool. This oh, is yeah. awesome. What I'm so this? excited because I always see, of course, Todd on Monday nights with WSTR. As I'm, you know, as I'm there, a uh, little mini wrench. And then, of course, I get to hang out with Blake once in a while, too, because I know we have stuff coming up. So it's exciting to have oh, you. Yeah, we definitely here. do. Well, cool. But uh, happy 100, guys. Uh, Thanks. Thrilled to be on. I think this is my first time being on Rogue One Radio, actually. You've been, this trying, to so this is... on our sh- uh, you've been trying to get us three on your show. And I've you're been... here, but you still yeah. get two thirds. <laughs> I've been on a show. <laughs> yeah, no, he's been on there. Oh, either yeah. one third or two thirds. He hasn't gotten three out of yeah. three, and he's here now, and he's still getting two out of three. Oh, I got That's another right. surprise guest. Cousin DJ's not here. Aww. Uh, yeah. Hey, is that Andor? It is. It is Andor. That's our. That's Andor. Hey, buddy. Nice. <laughs> so wait, Andor fitting. came on early. Very fitting. Yep. He Yay. is. He's early. He's right on. Look, look, look. He's right there. He's early. Right on cue. He's right on cue. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought you saw several hours to wait for Andor. <laughs> he does not have a bad name. He's got a great name. He's got a good <laughs> yeah, happy happy uh Andor Eve, everyone. I yeah, it's happening. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, right. that's gonna be great. Who's staying up? Who's staying up to watch it and who's waking up early to watch it? <sighs> Neither. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait till yeah. tomorrow night and watch it all and enjoy it. I'm not going to watch it until it's over in November. <laughs> well, I have no content for the whole right time. Away. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah. Obviously. Good luck avoiding spoilers then, Todd. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just going to be off the phone tomorrow and enjoy it tomorrow night. That's that's my plan. So Good plan. Good plan. So I know uh, you've also been busy on WSTR talking about uh rogue one and preparing also yeah uh, what yeah what is the plan for wstr are you guys going to continue on the reviews with andor and no because everyone else no. is going to do it so we don't have to do it so we're going to do uh for us we're going to do quarter check-ins so wait till nice. the first four next four you know that kind of thing so cool. that's our plan uh we got a bunch of other stuff planned so yeah yeah, I, I mean, it's great. It's going to be great. You know, everyone's going to be talking about it, but yeah. uh, kind of what, like, Techie was saying, like, we want to make sure that we're not just talking heads. So uh, try to try to curtail some of that 
excitement. I mean, we literally just talked about Obi Wan last night. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So we just, uh, you know, it's uh, something that we already got a kind of schedule planned out. So it's all good. But yeah, happy hundred. I mean, thanks. That's like a big deal. Now, okay. now you're legit. Jeez. You know. <laughs> now, if we could uh, make sure that we don't wait another three years to hit. 200. <laughs> right. right. I mean, yeah, it's as you know, as a podcaster, it's hard to get all the squirrels in one place at the same time. So oh, we got uh, plenty of squirrels here. Yeah. yeah. And rabbits. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's a major accomplishment. Yeah. It's a major accomplishment. So congrats. <laughs> that would be because of me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm excited because you. Of course, I know I'll be back on your show shortly here in a couple of weeks. What else is Dwarf Force up to? What are you guys up to over there? Well, we have had a short hiatus. Everyone's been real busy. Um, you know, our, our audio show, at least our regular Dork Wars, the podcast, which we release every Monday, except for uh, the past couple. <laughs> but, <laughs> every Monday, uh, except, Live, well, these this, other couple Mondays. <laughs> the last couple, yeah. That's right. Uh, we just got done with Avatar The Last Airbender a couple weeks ago, which was phenomenal. It was it was fun to cover that. So if you haven't seen that show, definitely go watch that. Um, but Dork Wars Live is coming to you. Two, not this Saturday, but the next Saturday. We'll be talking about Harry Potter years four and five. Nicole's going to be there. And I will be. She is... Harry Potter aficionado. It's great. I, Luna Girl will be there. I don't know who yeah. else. <laughs> Fun fact though, Blake, is um the first show I ever guest on was with, you know, was actually actually on DJs. And we talked about Harry Potter actually. The first night I ever talked to him, I was a guest on his show. It was about Harry Potter. It was really, it was a really wow. fun night. Mm -hmm. And you guys were both on my podcast talking Harry Potter uh three weeks ago, I think now. Mm -hmm. So good times. awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. Very good times. Steve. Oh, I just realized we got somebody else waiting. And I, I, I thought oh, I'd already oh. clicked them in. I thought oh. I'd already clicked them in, but here's Adam. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 hey, 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 everyone. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just just sitting in the lobby by yourself. Yeah, you know? I was just kind of humming a song to myself. Of course. Uh, da, 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 da. Good time to take a nap. Yeah. 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 All, right, all right, guys. Megan has to know. It gave me plenty of more time with Cam's mom. Orange so chicken okay. on pizza, yes or no? <laughs> is that a, is that le Wait. a legit question? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Megan has That's to know. The whole night. That's that Steve put in my mouth, apparently. Orange chicken on pizza? I would absolutely try that. I would try it, but I don't know if that would be my go-to. <laughs> I, I think I'd enjoy it. I think I'd love it. I think it would be my next. Uh, yeah, I, I think that'd be I my think next like food I crave. The more I think I, about it, I'm I'm actually very much on board with this idea. Yeah. I think if if yeah, we base it off of how you described it, I think I'd be on board fully yeah. with the with the crab ragoon as a, like the as the base. And work oh, in other words, yeah. it sounds like the next time Red Five gets together, we're going to be making an orange chicken pizza. Hey, I'm, Megan, I'm is down. this like a California thing, or is this just something you came up with? I just want to. Oh, yeah, this is like something that, something that, like, 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 like when Steve the family, like when the family from up moved uh, from uh, Inside Out moved to yeah. San Francisco, <laughs> right. and they got the weird Who pizzas. Puts broccoli like, yeah. And pizza. Yeah, yeah. I think this is that. Uh, I think this is like that. <laughs> yeah. This only my teachings of grammar and taking. A pause on the in between, <laughs> and if not, <laughs> orange chicken pizza has to happen. This is like the uh, this is like the one who like uh, we're ready to eat grandma thing. Is that what? Wait, this is? what? And <laughs> so <laughs> where like where the comma is like we're ready to eat grandma yeah. or oh. we're ready to eat grandma if you don't have the oh, comma, grandma. You know? yeah. We're, we're, yeah that's true same sentence <laughs> um, two different meanings because of one punctuation Spe speaking of food though i do have a question specifically for todd i want okay. to know if wow. you have ever eaten eat, eaten here don's grill uh yeah. no i have not eaten there no Okay, I I highly recommend it. Okay, uh, we ate there. Me and uh, Jay ate there on our way out of Chicago. Yeah, 
uh, on Sunday. Um, the after burger, all outs, brother, brother. No, no, no. This was oh. uh, after Riot Fest. Oh, Riot Fest. Uh, yeah. Did you, see out... Inch... Did you see Nine Inch Nails? No, I didn't stay for Sunday. Oh. Um, but yeah, we went there, and it's on uh, it's on Western and kind of close to Cermak. Yeah. Well, yeah, I I'm like in Tatooine. Uh, if Chicago's Coruscant, I'm like in Tatooine. So oh, like, it's not like super close. Hold up. So if you're Tatooine, what does that make me? Endor? The unknown I mean, regions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the I'm unknown at- regions. You, you're closer to the suburbs than I am. Uh, no, I think you're closer than I am. No, no. I'm like 60, I'm like 60 miles out from Chicago, so. I'm about the same. Okay. Do we really need to, to pull out a map here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out the Google Maps. Who's farther? You know. I got you both beat. I'm three hours away. Yeah, right. right. Well, right. depending I'll, on I'll the eight hours. So what, yeah, yeah. Steve off, then? yeah, Steve, I'll take your recommendation and try to make it out there, brother. That It's definitely worth checking out. Yeah, yeah. Brother. Uh, to bring it back to Orange Chicken Pizza, apparently um, Nick is planning on having that tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Have yeah. well, Megan. Have, have you? Nick? But Megan, have you had this pizza, or is this just something you came up with? No, I just need something that because I misspoke and Steve just ran with it. <laughs> oh, I ran with it. Well, we both ran with yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Again, this is the importance of pauses. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I don't know if you want your hundredth episode just to be about orange chicken pizza, but that if that's what you want to do, that's <laughs> that's great. That's great. This is the hill I'm willing to die on. Right. right, right. <laughs> it's uh, least fun. It's least fun to talk about. All right. Yeah. So, exactly. So, so, so back to the to the main main purpose. Uh, sort of. Um, now I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, <laughs> do you have any favorite moments from the hundred episodes? Memories. Any any memories? Uh, favorite memories of Rogue One Radio. I've got one. Um, so I think it's when I first really started listening to you guys like regularly. So I have a part-time job on Tuesday nights. That's why I'm here so late. Um, uh, actually, um, where I, I, you know, some people do nice things and they teach underprivileged kids music. I teach overprivileged kids music and they pay me. So, uh, this doesn't sound nearly as nice, but, uh, <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. But, uh, uh, Rogue One Radio is like my ride home. Okay. So I'm listening to you guys. I don't get a chat much because I'm driving. So stoplight here and there. I'll, I'll get on the chat. But uh, great, um, my radio is not working. working. I guess I got to listen to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, you know, you know. But uh, you guys were doing uh, the the Disney Dark Ages, I think. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. Okay. Your favorite you. movies, characters, and all that, and that was such a great introduction to y'all show for one and I've, I've been hooked ever since so I, I remember those first few episodes i really like got in on and listened to all the way through and i just had such a great time and th- those were some of my my favorite disney movies y'all were talking about that night so good time awesome awesome you todd i would just say i like the format i i'm not even gonna pick one show i just like the like i love that you bring in your passions each one of you and i love like the music kind of stuff that you do steve i think that's super cool because that's what you're passionate about and so i I like that you bring those passions into your show and that really sells you know it it shows it sells it sells very good so i i really do enjoy the format and uh you know these quick news items that nicole then turns into like you know, an hour long segment. So those are. Things, right? <laughs> what happened last week on accident? <laughs> Me, I was like, can I get this done in and out like in five minutes? Nobody else. No, saw. no, do not. I, I think I think Charlie or Steve should take that over because that it's nothing's quick with you, Nicole. So you know. <laughs> cool. I tried for it to be in the class, and then I got this one, and then uh, cousin Blake. Who like stop and talk about it. and I'm like, can I just can I like can we just news in a flash? Trim that yeah. fat off. Come on, trim the fat. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like Ron Burgundy re- trying to read the teleprompter. You're just like keep on going and it's like <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but I, I do, guys. You guys are great. I mean, it's great. I love the format, and like I said, the, the 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 stuff that you love bring to the forefront, and that really shows. And so keep up, keep doing that. Awesome, Adam. Any yeah, thoughts? I mean, I uh, you know, aside from what everyone else said, I I think you guys do a great job with uh, doing an online show and getting a, a lot of people in your chat room. That's hard to do. Yep. Uh, and it's fun every week to hang out and, you know, be honest, it's, it's for me, it's kind of like, you know, Saturday night live or, uh, even I watch a lot of wrestling where it's uh, like almost more of the fun is trying to see where people crack up a little bit, you know? And so I love to try to get you guys to, you know, to, to laugh a little bit and to, you know, break up and like seeing that cracking is, is, is fun for me. <laughs> and seeing how many different tangents slash rabbit holes in Nicole's case she can go down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah I just love, I just love that, that interaction. It's, it's very, you guys do it very well. And I love being a part of the chat rooms. So I have to say in my defense here and Adam knows this. Okay. Adam and Josh, from a certain point of view, know this as I've been a guest on their show. In fact, I think I was guesting on their show even before I was officially a host on Rogue One. Yeah, yeah. They know that I become an excited chatterbox, and they also probably realize that most of my rabbit holes are turned into predictions that have also turned into correct predictions. <laughs> that is me. That is me in rabbit form. Okay, I know. Yeah, I think you might have to go back to all the hundred episodes and see which predictions actually. You um, actually, so if Adam came back onto the screen, it was actually on his show with him and Josh from a certain point of view, we were talking about WandaVision and some of my prediction did turn out correct. Um, including after we found out the truth about Dr. Strange, um, when Adam decides to return, Adam, stop, stop visiting Cam's mom. Come on. Anyways, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You probably didn't even hear that. You yeah, didn't yeah, hear no, no, no. I know Adam <laughs> didn't hear me talking about his about Cam's mom. You know, but but, but Adam. No, that's where I had to go. She was she was starting to get a little antsy, so I had to tell I her, know. you know, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. It, it, it's but but it's she true. Can't, I was can't on wait. Your show, can't wait. and I did a rabbit a total rabbit trail about WandaVision and some predictions, and I end up being right. Or the one time I was right but i was wrong and then i was right where i was talking about dr strange and then it turned out not to be and then i got mad when we discovered there was a deleted seat and i'm like son of a biscuit i was so mad i was so mad but he knows i was right yep. so yep yep okay, cool. i know him and josh will back me <laughs> fun stuff all in good fun That's very yeah good fun. very good fun all right, well, guys, thanks for coming on and helping thanks us for celebrate. Me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, here's to here's another two hundred more. So. Two hundred. Yeah, let's do oh, at least two hundred more. Come on, man. not a hundred. Yeah. That's a hundred's easy. You guys, yeah, come on, no you problem. just yeah, you just proved a hundred's easy. We got to I mean, go. Yeah, you're, I mean, we no did a hundred shows. I mean, come on. No pressure yeah. there. Good. Grief. Yeah, just just three hundred. Let's. Yeah, go. happy one hundred, guys. Yeah, right, thanks a lot. See ya. Thanks for having us out. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Ah. So uh, I think Blue has another logo he wanted to show us. What, uh -oh. what does that what? say? What? It just says 100. No, good it, Bob. It 100, no. 100 yay? 100 yay, good, good job. job. I don't know. I would... You know, I think I, think I, I, think I called it right. Seconds. I think I called it right. You did that in Microsoft Paint, didn't no, you? No, I did not. I, I did just make another one in Microsoft Paint waiting for something. I don't know. Leave me alone. What? Jackie threw five, me off five, my game. Five seconds. What's that now? I said instead of five minutes, this one took him five seconds. No, because I had to find a good orange for, I don't know. It was, it's a. Okay. Sure. I'm really picky. Well, so, um. <laughs> So man, a hundred episodes. Uh, that is weird. That that is yeah, really odd. If this is supposed to be a party celebration, where the heck is the cake? I'm uh, candy it's corn. Not, it's not that kind of party. <laughs> I've, that I've, I've and the cheesecake turned into a, a a an orange chicken pizza. Yeah, it's an orange chicken yeah, pizza it's party. A, that's the food. That's even better. Party, and then the cheesecake is the dessert. 
So I'm curious, um, Steve, what are have been some of your favorite moments or episodes that we have done yes, here? At episode one? That's what we were going to get to. Yes, I remember we were going to get to that. Okay, so um, how about you go with yours first? Because I'm looking through the list. I mean, I've done all 100 of these, so there's a lot to choose from. Um, <laughs> you some, for today? Not really. Okay, some of uh, my favorites... Um, Blake mentioned the one, it was the, um, where we did, we went different from doing Star Wars and we did all the, like the dark ages of Disney, the Renaissance. And we, I liked the fact that we broke down things. I loved our Batman series. Loved that. I did like Joker voice when he came on and we did the, the Batman villains. That was a really awesome night. I had fun with that. Um, I also have to mention the fact that I also did technically a Rogue One Lady special, um, and that was in honor of Betty White. Um, that was done with a crossover with, thank you to Amanda at Galaxy of Queers. Technically, that was, you know, I was hosting uh, in honor of our Rogue One uh, family. And uh, that was a really good time because I loved being there with, with Amanda and Shanti and, and Lunar Girl. And we just had a fun time honoring Betty White. Um, there's a lot of fun memories, just really good times. I love listening to our music. I, I'm so grateful that you every week pick out music that we get to listen to because people have sent it to you and, hey, you guys can play this. And it's like, yes, because we are learning and listening to something new and it continues to, you know, get us beyond our horizons or what we're currently listening to. So, yeah. and I, I'm just excited for, you know, I know we're going to be doing Andor. Um, I'm definitely excited for the oh John Hughes. I mentioned this earlier though with the using interviews. I definitely loved our John Hughes. Um, that was fun because yeah. I love John Hughes. Um, yeah, I mean we've definitely had a lot of fun reviews, but I've I've definitely loved a lot. You know our chat is awesome, so I thank you to our chat because our chat is just so much fun. Um, yeah. yeah. There's this many yeah, good memories. Just, oh, we, hold up. I got one more I have to mention. Um, that is when we had, uh, and it's an important one to me, and that is when mm -hmm. we had Bob the Burger on and we talked about disability representation. I felt like we took a very serious topic but made it fun at the same time. Um, yeah. And I loved that because we had Bob the Burger on and he, we really talked about something very important true to our hearts and at the same time was very positive and had some good music and it was it was a good time very good yeah, yeah. So, i mean i really uh, i like them all i mean they're all my babies kind of yeah um there, there are i mean there were series that i really enjoyed <laughs> doing uh i really enjoyed our um our skywalker saga retrospective series yeah that was a lot of fun. Uh, I liked our Mandalorian recaps, but both uh, both the ones before DJ even came on. Uh, actually, that was even before uh, Blue started coming. That on. is true. Uh, that was like the first series. That's why you made the podcast was to talk. Pretty about much, it. yeah. And yeah. now it's the whole this. reason we made the podcast was to talk about the Mandalorian. Uh, and now and then we're it just here. went from there, and here we are three years and a hundred episodes later yeah. and there's still episodes that like we would like there's still episodes that we said we would make that we never did i yeah oh, me. there's a I, list there is a list that we have steve i have given steve a list it is a list of i think I, we should do I, think, I, I, waited. I still have to read the second two you haven't read the <laughs> This is why I'm gonna taking gonna over the show. Next week. No, you're not. Do you, want, do you really want to get into conversation about how far behind I am in my reading? I'm taking over Rogue One Radio. Let me explain <laughs> how behind. This is a two. Oh. Oh Revolution. A oh, one person came. This is that. not your rebellion. It, it's not that <laughs> cute. Um, I, <laughs> this is why I'm. Th Mitch, okay. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Let, let me give you an example of, of why, or, or a, a good example of, of why I am so far behind in my reading. I started reading a book called Thrawn Alliances 
which is the second one in the new Thrawn trilogy. With Tim Timothy Zahn, right? Right. Correct? I started reading that book in December of 2020. Okay. <clears throat> December of 20. I, I'm not. I am about 50% of the way through. So there's and this really he's ready to kill you with a lightsaber. Yeah, thing. yeah. I uh, I am taking over. This is a coup. <laughs> no, I no. am taking over. I, I no. have co-hosts that would would back me up here. <laughs> no, 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 Chad, back me up. I'm taking over. No, no. the hosts. I I Ow. will say I will say, however, that uh, every once in a while, uh, Blue and I are good. Oh my gosh, we. I think we've got a somebody that. A new oh, no. Are well. they here? Is he here? If you have to, you have to no. bring back the other one. If the one is here, <laughs> no! I yes! I don't. I hate yeah. this. Yes! I hate this. Oh my God! I mean, where where, 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 where is where's Adam? He at? All I see is a dark screen. Everyone, get quiet. Where's he at? Dark. Bub, is, is that you? Bub, are you there? Hey guys, can you can you see me? I, nope. I cannot see you. We see a black box. I don't know what's going on here. Apparently, Bub's stuck in the void, so we should just leave him <laughs> there. <laughs> no, Bub is our number one fan. <laughs> Bub, you just had not feel good with technology. Um, see, now Bub is the one that came up with our logo way back when. Oh, we did. Um, I think I saw a flash or something. I did. I did. I saw a flash. I don't know. I was not worried oh, about this. He, <laughs> not flash the question, what was he flashing in the dark? <laughs> Do we want to know? I don't this know. This wasn't in my contract. We, we lost him for a second. You didn't sign a contract. He's back, but still in black. Let me try it again. Back in black. <laughs> I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to expect here. I don't Earth, like it here, Bob. Father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I lost him again. Ah! Wow. Apparently, the Empire is trying to keep him from uh, streaming to us. I, I think yeah. I think uh, Bub is teasing us. I think Bub actually, like, might be somewhere in the galaxy. Seriously. He might be. What were he we talking to, about? Are we about to drop it? Huh? Are we about to reveal the the Bub movie trailer? Is that what's going on? Oh Possibly. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> Nicole, what were you saying? Oh, I said I think Darth Bob is somewhere out in the galaxy, and he's working for the Empire. It's true. Somewhere with spotty service, spotty signal, apparently. You know what I think? I think that Bub is trying to get on and show his support for Rogue One Radio. Yes. And Cam is keeping him from doing it. I think Cam's oh. one of Cam's clones. I think Cam's kind of busy though. I think Cam is is well, I don't think busy's the word. I think he's jealous of Bob. <gasps> or, so jealous, am, or jealous or jealous of, 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 of a particular Adam who is already yeah. on. Yeah. I think candy corn is great. I don't know. I just want to be included. Um, Bob, I like what you put in chat. Bob, a Star Wars story. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hit, hit me up. I'll make this. I can do this. Said, look what Luna Girl said in the chat about about Bub and where but what Bub is up to, what she thinks Bub is up to. Um, Bub is chilling with Adam's mom. <laughs> oh. oh, Adam, you're oh, oh, saying I'm oh. saying you better come back on. <laughs> Get back on here. I know. Trust me. My brain is so scared of this. Moment. I don't like this. I don't <laughs> like your father. I don't like your father. <laughs> Why are you saying that to me? This isn't how this works. I don't know. I don't. Oh, you know what? Oh, somebody's taking over. Is it you? Bob! 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 It's Bob. There you go. We can see you. We can... Bob! We can see and hear you. Hey, sorry guys, I'm in the middle of a workout right now, trying to build up my muscles here. What kind of workout were you working out? All of it. All of it. It's a full monkey lizard body workout. Um, uh, 
And I'm wearing, as always, my, I entered a Rogue One radio contest, and all I won was this t-shirt. T-shirt. You don't see much of it. You can't make much of it out. That's why he's working out. He's trying to fill it out. Let me see yeah. if, I, if I can get the camera a little closer here. Okay. Yeah, you're just too short to see it. <gasps> oh. oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Half of it. Well, sort of. There we go. Yeah. Woo! Sort of. Yeah. I don't want a shirt that says that. Let's just say it's not smelling the best right now. <laughs> Nor am I. <laughs> Bob, I just, what have you been up to? We haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up yeah, to? You haven't been just, on any of the socials. Just planning on taking over the galaxy. Um, oh, I mean, um, <laughs> I was about to say. Just reading and writing mostly. <laughs> Reading and writing what? Stuff for your dark plans? Oh, no. Oh, oh nothing. Just dark side stuff. I mean, uh... Anyway, um, I don't have a lot of time because uh, I'm only supposed to rest for about two minutes between each set. Uh, but I wanted to wish you guys a happy 100th <laughs> episode. Thank and you. As you see a random person's lips and Bob, who's with you? Who are you holding uh, hostage? Adam's Bob? mom. Well, don't don't kill <gasps> him, but it's uh, Adam's mother. <laughs> <laughs> called it. Called it. Yeah, just hold on. Just hold on, Mama Kate. She'll be right with you. <laughs> So, Bob, have you been keeping an eye on Cam, or has Cam been watching you lately? Well, a little bit of booze, but um, like I said, he's going to be home real soon, and uh, I oh. don't want him to know uh, what's going on here. Uh, on one more quick question, Bob. When can we expect your return to all the socials? Well, I'm working on a few things here and there. Um, I'm, I can't really say anything right now, but... Uh, uh, Mr. Steve, I was wondering, um, when am I going to get that muscle car? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we already sent it to you. <laughs> yeah, it, something, it never showed up for some reason. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, so it's just hang on. Sorry about <laughs> that. Actually, Bob, we have to ask you the question of the night. Orange chicken pizza, yes or no? I didn't. I can't hear you. Can you speak up, please? Orange chicken on pizza, yes or no? Um, can it be pork instead of chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Works yes. for me. Yes. <laughs> I orange, think I found a new ally in killing Bob. Orange pork. <laughs> I told you, I'll be with you in a minute, sweet lips. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't know. She's just so demanding. <laughs> Adam seems so sweet and quiet, unlike this little piece of work. <laughs> well, Bob, what, what are you doing? What, uh oh, what are you doing here, sweetie? <laughs> Oops. What are you on? What? what are you? Oh hey, my gosh! Hey, Cam. I'm so sorry. Get Cam. 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 Oh, those are my. Those are my weights. That will crush you, Bob. Good. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. This is ridiculous. <laughs> um, you're here in our 100th 100, 100 episode. Thank you. Hey, congratulations, guys. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Hold on, sweet lips. I'll be right there. Oh my gosh. Sorry. There's, <laughs> oh, Cam, uh, it's a family I friend who's over. Cam. A family friend. <laughs> yeah, a family friend. Uh, yeah. friend. By the way, Cam, you should call your mom and see where she is tonight. <laughs> we have conflicting reports. We do. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I got. Uh, I've got to go. Um, I do have a call to make now. Something just came up. Um, <laughs> I just thought about something. But um, see, anyway, see you on TikTok, Cam. Hey, congratulations, everybody. Thank um, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks for stopping by, Bob. Bye, Bye Bob. Bob. Bye, Cam. See you, Bob. Okay. That's a lot of Star Wars. That is a lot of Star Wars. <laughs> 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 oh.
always a pleasure. I have to started. say, I I really turned around on Bub. I think I'm a I'm a Bub fam now. <laughs> there you go. I think I'm, I'm like Nicole. We have brought him from, to the dark side. <laughs> Yes, that was a load of Star Wars. As somebody just said in the in the chat, yes, DJ, DJ that was a load of Star Wars. Yes, it was. Oh man. Yes. All right. Also, I think I have a new pal in Killing Bub because he said he likes um, orange chicken pizza. Well, I think he said. I think I have Borg. someone to help me now. I think he said Borg. He definitely oh, said Borg. Borg. Yeah, Borg. My point still stands. Someone to help take Bub down. We've got a rebellion on our hands. One second, I need to text Bub. Send the bub signal. We've got Dylan's afoot. <laughs> the rebellion is on. Oh man! All right. Well, this was uh, this was a lot of fun tonight. Yes. One hundred episodes. One hundred episodes. Can we leave Let's... the topic of the of the real topic of the night. I think next week's Woo! episode will be one hundred and one Dalmatians. Woo! What? One hundred and one oh. Dalmatians. Oh, no. Long door? show. Long show. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sorry. Andor. Andor. Man, I still need to watch Kenobi. I don't know. <gasps> so yeah. So next week we will be discussing the first three episodes of the Andor series. As well as 101 uh, Dalmatians. Plan. Well, and also my and also the funeral. <laughs> the kitty See, cat. And lots of really good music. The kitty cat took down and my sheet. <laughs> we saw. I don't know how the kitty cat took down my sheet, but. You'd be surprised what our kitty cats do. Yeah, they're crazy. Um, so everybody that came on tonight, I want to thank. Uh, we really appreciate people coming on and uh, sharing Ooh. their sharing yeah. their memories of this show that is so close, near and dear to our hearts. And uh, thanks, as always, to everybody in the chat room. For Which is out. a favorite of everybody's. Which the is chat. a favorite of everybody's. Yes, the chat, they like the, the chat more than more than the show. Um, <laughs> well, the music. Yes, yes. Hey, Joker um, Force. Oh, oh, boy! You boy. missed Bob. JV, you came right. You oh, Bob, man. Sure. Hey, but, uh, JV. Hey. Oh, I did. Hold up. I'd like to say this because JV, you you're in the chat now. I actually did say one of my favorite episodes is actually when you were on and we were talking about the uh, Batman villains. So I'd like to throw that out while he is here. I did was say that, that and hashtag keep talking because that that was one that was a very favorite of mine. But uh, yeah, so it was great and uh, hundred episodes was uh, it did not fly by. <laughs> It seems I, like it, <laughs> but I am certain that the next 100 will just fly by. I think um, so. Now that Steve everybody... actually knows what he's doing with the show, I really don't. It does? Uh, <laughs> I really it does. Don't. You didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I'm just, you know, making this up as I go along. But uh, so Here we'll we see are. you next week, everybody, uh, when we start talking about Andor, and that will go on for. I don't know how long. When does Andor Too stop? Long. Like in November or something? So, uh, yeah, usually uh, show, t uh, podcast shows, uh, the hosts are more, what do you call it? Um, prepared. prepared. Yeah, prepared. And and have already done the research prior. Coherent? But, uh, but yeah, coherent. That's, well, that's, you're not going to get that out of here. Not You're not going to get, not get, not gonna get coherent. Okay, so the final episode of Andor airs on November 23rd. So basically, we're almost into Christmas before we stop talking about Andor. And then we talk about 101 Dalmatians. No, because 101 episode. I, no, I do want to say, though, that if you're not a patron, you are missing the exclusive episode where Blue and I talk about magic and technology in the MCU. So and technically, this is the hundredth and one episode. Technically? No, th that is a Patreon o pa Patreon only episode, so it that's, doesn't count. That's episode B dot one. It's the it's like the second side of the tape. Sure. Except the Bob, tape is way too long. Bob is in the chat. Bob. Bob. Bob geeks out Jeez. over pop culture. You know, okay, so Bob the Burger also here. I see y'all messed my shout outs. 
Bob, but I also talked about our episode when you came on and we talked about disability awareness. Uh, 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 I mean, sorry, oh, and sorry, representation in Hollywood right. and the importance. And I had mentioned that was also one of my other favorite episodes is when Bob was on. See, everybody, everybody that you did show up. showing up late. Showing up now. <laughs> yeah, showing up right at the end. They're here for the after party. <laughs> I didn't know so there was an after party. Yeah, there's an after credits. Come on. Yeah, it's like the host only finds out about the after party as it's happening. Yeah, yeah. That's when we're dropping the Bub trailer, a Star Wars story. <laughs> so, so that's wait, that be comes awesome. out when? Next month? Camera Semi Productions and um, Road One Media Presents. I believe that's 2025. <laughs> what is? Bub the movie? Yeah. It actually comes out whenever we feel like it. Yeah, point, point. We're making, there's a trailer, but there's no actual filming done. It's all logos and studios and, uh. And Bob just in random places. Yeah. We're basically just going to put uh, a PNG of Bob in front of actual Star Wars and call I it. I don't know if I actually want to know where Bob has been. So you mean like your, <laughs> you mean like your best. Pixar logo? What about the Pixar logo? No, you're, I said. You just wait. I said your pick Pixlr logo. No, I heard you. Okay. Mm. And I'm saying I'm going to remember that. Well, I hope you do. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> but yeah, go go check out the Patreon. We're going to hopefully be doing more <coughs> um, Patreon exclusive episodes. I think with the working title of Blues BS, I don't know yet. You never yeah. actually commented on that name. You just gave it a thumbs up and pretended like no. that was a response. Either that or to make it even shorter, B B S. B or you could just call it the B side, like tapes. There you go, the B side. I like that. Yeah, that's because I'm really creative and interesting. Sure. As your Pixlr logo shows. We're going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm trying to pay attention to your Show <laughs> for <laughs> once. <laughs> Don't pay attention when you were the host. <laughs> I did. How else was I supposed to read the wiki page? <laughs> At the well, you of... don't. Facebook you is not the wiki them. page. <laughs> I don't have Facebook, but you know, I do have Twitter. At Blue Thief of Void, no spaces, <laughs> all lowercase. You can also find me at Blue underscore Thief of Void on Twitch. I stream games sometimes. I'm self advertising. <laughs> oh, I hear. All right. Well, uh, yeah. So everybody, <laughs> thanks for thanks for coming on and thanks for listening and chat room and all that. And uh, we'll see you back next week. Thank you, everybody. See you in another hundred.